woods today, you better go in the sky. Dab, dab. If you go into the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Dab, 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 Beneath dab, 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 the trees, dab, 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 wherever they please, dab, the rest dab, away dab. and games to play. A grunty layer is a spiral mountain. I hope you've got eggs. What? If hell exists, <laughs> it's... It... <laughs> Ooh. Picnic time for Teddy. The little Teddy <laughs> are having a wonderful time today. Oh, no, I was oh. so glad we came to the opera taste. I'm just so glad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit, it, it's a bit cerebral. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, you see, you have to have a high intelligence to truly appreciate this play, Tysk. Roll insanity check for opera. <laughs> <laughs> Roll that D100. Ah, shit. Nat 100. You get it. You Aren't get the higher insanity. rolls considered failures? Yes, they are. Yeah, high rolls are considered <laughs> failures. In the world of Cthulhu, yes, oh, they are. Oh, no. Welcome to, the, welcome to D100 systems. Honesty, Onyx, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Emo, Emo, and Tizzle, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Guys, thank you so much, everyone. Hi, we're the Unexpectables. Uh, oh, our DM is Monty Glue, who's currently working. Sorry. Dean, what did we say about that? Stop apologizing. I'm Canadian. I know I am too, but I know it's hard. Hey, 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 that's racist, well, that, and I know a thing or two about that. Ha, 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 ha. It's, it's, it's okay. I'm going to spend the rest of my life apologizing to Dean. I've accept, I made peace with that. Uh, we are joined by, uh, uh, we are joined by Chris Zito. Say hi, Zito. Duck hole. Hello. There we go. And we got... Uh, 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 it is the ladies' man, Senile Snake. Oh, uh, the antibiotics are kicking you. There we go. <laughs> Oh, well now, now the character of Xenal Snake will be played by Snake.exe. Hey, Snake, how was your day? Uh, my day was good. <laughs> uh, what's yours? Oh, uh, you know me, man. It's pretty. It's you, know, you know me. Just you know, just you know, the average amount of crying. All right, and we're over to Guy and Goomba as well. Guy Goomba. Goomba. Yo. Oh, that was weird. That was. He was like right in my ear. Now you're still <laughs> sick, right? So oh my god, that's your name. Sadie 88 with what? 10,000 bits? <laughs> Holy shit, gotta feed them cliches. Technically, you're feeding my sister, but that's also fair. Sadie 88, thank you so much for the 10,000 bits, dude. That's super nice of you. Jesus. You know, I can't fucking handle your Evo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm having, a hard, I'm having a hard time myself. It's a, do you know the way? You know the way. So, <laughs> we, 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 are, we are in. Um, there we go. Uh, what, it sounds like I'm ahead of everybody again. Are you Are you serious? No. No, you shouldn't be. Are you responding to us before we talk? Because that it has been something that's happened before. Uh, apparently it may sound like that. Uh, Kazwa, thanks so much for the 500 bits. Okay. Uh, just when I, hmm? I'm gonna say the quick brown fox, and I want you to say dog when I finish saying the quick brown fox. Okay. okay? The quick brown dog. fox. The quick brown it's fox. Dog. Let's see if that's what happens. Probably, well, no, this, this is my experience that the Canadians must apologize 50 times a day, or they revert back to their primal and Canadian lumberjacking instincts. Acres of forest are lost every year to such occasions. True. Grand Dark, thank you for the 500 you're bits. <laughs> you're like, you're like half a second ahead. Yep, bad delay. Uh, I'm, yep, he's a smidge ahead. Are you serious? No, you're, you're a fucking time traveler. That's what's going on here. Oh, dude, jeez. I don't check your check your OBS. See if you got any delay. delay on I don't us. Yeah. He is way ahead of you. Is I'm getting people messaging um, me. Yeah, he knows way delay. ahead. No, I I heard it I just as a little ahead. I don't know. I don't fuck with the settings. I never do. No, it's I don't know what I would fuck with here. Um, and there's no way to put it forward either. No, I have I no idea what this is. This is I don't know what this is. Uh... Try it hmm. one more time, Nadine. Maybe maybe I went too early. I'm going to wait a sec. The quick... You were actually delaying afterwards. The quick brown fox... Do sorry, sorry, one more time. Okay. The quick brown fox... Dog. The quick brown fox... Dog. The quick brown fox... Dog. Our Let's see. Honesty, uh, Onyx, 10,000 bits! Thanks for all... <clears throat> thanks for all the laughs, as always. Honesty, Onyx, thank you so much for the 10,000 bits! That's crazy Are generous. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, Austin. I just elbowed the microphone. I'm sure you're going to hear that. Much better. It's because I waited half a second after responding to you. 
Yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna have to wait a second or two. Wait to respond. Yeah. Whatever, whatever this delay issue is, I'm gonna have to accept the fact that I'm I, I'm gonna have to adjust my role play based on it. Al, but well, you're gonna have to fix it afterwards. Like that, you can't do that forever. Uh, yeah, I don't so. know what it is. It's happened twice though. Like I, I just no, it's happened about four times. Now. It has. <laughs> I don't yeah. I don't know what is up with that because I don't I don't fuck with my settings at all. Albatross, thanks you for the bits. Albat oh my god, hey. Albatross. 10,000, sorry, 11,500 bits? <clears throat> Zito, you're the queen. Show me the way. Zito. Uh, don't worry. I just I just spammed away emotes at him. Don't worry do, do, about it. Oh, 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 oh. The way, do, wait, whoa, Zephyrus, 101. 10,000 bits. Hey, guys, today's my day, last day in the U.S. before I go out on deployment out of the country. And I am glad I can spend the night listening to you guys. This also makes up for me missing last week. That more than makes up for Zephyrus. Thank you for the ten thousand bits, and thank you Jesus so much. Thank you so much for your service, Zephyrus. <laughs> Best of luck on your deployment. Yeah, new, mm. Hey guys, can Zephyrus get a motherfucking newt newt? No, 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 no. And again, thank you so much to Albatross for the eleven thousand five hundred bits. My goodness, Zeno, you better have shown him the way. Wait, 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 Imo, Imo Tizzle. And thank you, and N.A. Cloud P P Polly, finally able to catch you live. Thank you so much, and honestly, Onyx as well. What? We have an another bit drop? Yeah, you missed oh it. Oh, my God. Emo <laughs> Tizzle. Wish I had money to out to out bit drop probate, but since I don't here, have all my ex ex expendable money, the unexpendable money. 5,000 bit cake drop for the good boy. Thank you so much. Crimson highly, and thank you for the 500 bits as well. But, wow, dude. Thank you so much, Emo Tizzle. That's very nice of you. Damn, damn. Also... Really quick, I apologize, Austin. My audio, I was clipping really bad, so I had to make some adjustments. Derpy Doogie, thank you for the <clears> 2,600 <throat> bits. Today's my 26th birthday. Have some birthday bits. Happy birthday. Oh, Happy birthday. Birth birthday. By the way, guys, I'm ready to by, go. The way, by, the, oh, by the way, yeah. Monty, real fast. No. I don't mean to put like any like focus or like do much undue stress on you, but would it bug you if we referred you as the queen from now on? No, no, <laughs> I just you is the queen. No, no, no. What are we done, guys? No, no, we can't. Do no, not, do not oh. run. You cannot escape the devil. No. <laughs> Show us the way. Oh, no. And then it's probate with the fucking knuckles. <laughs> Oh. Monty, why are you running? No! Monty, you do not why run. Are running. Why are you run. running? I run so far, I run so far away. Demonic mm. High, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Sorry, we gotta get started here, but thank you so much for watching for so long. Alrighty. Oh. Click sounds, guys. Click sounds. But anyways, um, let's... Are you ready to take us away, Nadine, to a magical land? Yep. <laughs> Alright, we'll be taking two quick bio breaks in the middle of this session, guys. Thank you so much, Psycho mm. Mantis 50W. All right, Nadine, take us away. All right. When last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and Tass the Cobalt Ranger, the party left the cozy walls of Alabas to find the Northlanders, eight hours east of the city. After a tense, sweat-inducing standoff with a tiny crab with a knife, which Panic charmed with a lovely ditty, Ooh. the party found a stray Northlander crabbing on the beach, who startled at their presence and fled into the Northlander longhouse. After a tussle with a grandma, Polly morphed into an octopus, the chieftain of the Northlanders appeared and calmed the masses. Task explained his desire to hunt bear, which the Northlanders took as Task desiring to complete a man trial. Escorted by half Dan, one with bear, the party traversed the woods and came across a fresh goblin camp that was completely dispatched with a few choice lightning explosions, <laughs> arrows, and axes. <laughs> After fighting the goblins, Task finally met face to face with his bear and fought it, killing it with his dagger. Now, traveling back to the Northlander's longhouse, bear in tow, the party makes their way home. So you guys are in the woods. Halfdan has your bear task on his shoulders. Like he's carrying it like a sack of potatoes on his back um, and just walking contently. Uh, Halfdan, quick question. Yes, friend. Are you, are you sure you could carry that? You took an arrow to the gut. Oh, this is nothing for Halfdan. This is good exercise, but if you want to oblige me, my friend, you can. Oh, very well. I would be more than happy to do that. Roll a strength check. Okay. I hope my delay is not to please not one. <laughs> yeah, please not one. Strength <clears throat> check. Eight. <laughs> he 
like grabs the bear by by the arms and legs and like tosses it to you and you grab it and you just fall on your back and the bear is on your stomach. Uh, I, I'm sorry, friend. I, I I should have asked if you were ready. Can, can Borky attempt to roll backwards and then stand up within his arms and make the save? Oh. <laughs> Athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> Roll high, big boy. Here we go. Here we go. By the way, I am going to be jumping in the trees. All right. Stealth. Borky, nice. Borky attempts the roll through. 20. You, it's not graceful, but you do manage to get on your feet. You have the bear. It is heavy. Uh, this thing is hefty. It's not a very large bear. Like, this is not an adult bear, but it is, it's got a lot of fat in it. Like, you're, you're pre winter. This thing's been loading up. I got it. Thank you so much, half, half, half bear man. Uh. <laughs> I am half than one with bear, friend. You by the way, what you've got that. By, by the way, I was just gonna say while I'm up there, I just want to make a note that I'm just actively looking for stuff, anything that might be out of the ordinary. Okay, sorry. Uh, half dan. So why uh, do the Northlanders, uh, apart from selling <clears throat> the uh, furs and whatnot to the township, uh, why are they? Uh, quartering off people from hunting bears here oh it's because we keep balance uh, you, you know uh uh olga our, our elder yes mm. she decides when we can hunt and when we cannot hunt this is so we do not kill all bear because then we starve you, you understand this yes of course you, you kill oh. all bear there are no more bear yes you don't want to drive them to extinction exactly so on this land we are told how many bear we can fight how many we can have, and we give parts to Yidia, who guides Olga to tell us how many we can hunt. So if that way mind, we... If you don't mind me asking, since I'm not 100% sure on the age of humans, how long has your elder been around for, for these lands? Oh, Olga is very old. Don't tell her I said that. She get very mad at me. Um, but she is quite old. The thing is, with the type of magic that she uses, it, it helps life. It, it makes you live longer. Olga, I have known for almost 20 years now, and, and she has been the same since. Mm, I don't know exact age, but she is uh, the Bjornsson's uh, grandmother in that sense. Um, oh. And Bjornsson is quite old. Not, not that old. Um, he's about uh, 30s or so. Oh my and, God. Uh, this hmm. is probably... Uh result of either clerical magic or uh, druidic magic. <clears throat> yes, druidic, there we go, that, that's the word. It, it, the, the connection to Yidia helps you live longer. Uh, it is not a, a selfish thing, it is just when you become more with nature, nature becomes more with you. Is that why she, is unexpected this, boon. Is that why she could be, is that why she could become a giant octopus? This is part of being druid. Oh. You, you can take form of nature to, to get close to nature. Uh, sometimes you can use it to keep away uh, predators, like uh, he turns and looks at you, panic, and kind of like goes to laugh and like, Oh, mm, mm, mm. uh, yes, I am. <laughs> I am the a most predator. Deadliest, the deadliest predator of I all. I would argue that if anyone's a predator, it's Greckles right now because he's up in the trees. You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know where I am, big boy. He did slip away. Eh, but uh, uh, we, I, apo I apologize. This is all new to us Northlanders. The women are very set in the race. We are trying to embrace new things. It's hard. There are so many crazy things here. There are um, magics that we've never seen before. It, it is strange. We try to make best of it, but um, we are a little fearful, which, uh, you know... We mean no offense, it's just we want to take care of each other. And, and the women in particular, that is their job. Um, so they definitely take it a bit more seriously than uh, the men should. It sounds mm. more and more like my old home, so I can absolutely understand all of this. Ah, good. I, I just hope you, you understand. You, you come from different place, and, and we come from different place, and it, it's all quite different. I mean, you're red, and, and you're green, and he points to you, Borky. <laughs> this is strange to us, but but we accept this. It's just something different that is the same. Exactly. It's like how you said there was white orcs, and orcs is green. It's it's weird it is orcs, it is white. That's just weird. Hmm. How big are they, by the way? They're about your size. Oh, it's weird. 
So they're so, so they're really tiny. <laughs> I mean, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Half Dan is not orc. I do not know the size. Of the, and honestly, Ogrush and, and Bulgrush are the only orcs that Half Dan knows. Well, someday you'll be full Dan, and that day you'll be a real boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow. I, fuck, just... I was sitting there like, oh. what, how long is Taka gonna make the full Dan joke? <laughs> oh. It was happening Half... one of these days. Half Dan leans over to you, Tasco. This man is one fish short of a full basket. Patience, you have to keep with him. Oh, I have good. Half Dan has great patience. Oh, lives I can with... tell. Don't worry. <laughs> lives with Frelda, knows how to deal with disappointment. He keeps walking. Disappointment Jeez. and patience are two very differently exclusive things. Not in Half Dan's life. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Turns to the camera. <laughs> uh, you guys continue walking through the woods. At this point, it's like full on, like almost late sunset. And eventually, you breach the trees. You see a familiar sight of the Northlander camp. And you see, as you guys come out of the camp, you see three men uh, carrying what looks like a giant, like um, sea kayak, almost like a sea canoe. Um, and you see two orcs, and you see Tolch, the spear obsessed, um, currently lugging up a boat next to the, the longhouse. They haven't seemed to notice you yet. And you see um, currently Frelda outside um, checking out the crabs and like chucking some into one bucket and some into the other. And uh, Hathen yells as like, Palto! And he waves, and the two orcs and the man turn, and they lift up a big chain of fish. Like, I got a bunch of fish, and the one orc goes, Faisal! Ah! Like, shakes his fist, and everyone's, like, cheering and happy and whatnot. Ah, uh, it's good tonight. This is good. Uh, but first, we should deal with bear. We need to carve bear for you. Yes, we, as per the agreement... We would just like to have some way of preserving and taking the meat home. We will give you cloth. You can you can put the meat in cloth. Uh, we will get fat and the rest of everything. You want to want cut of sirloin. You want you want good cut of bear. We love. Yes. Can we have some yes. flank? The booty. The fl I can do flank, mm. it, but we want the fat the fat from flank. This is honest. Um, <clears throat> uh, my my lord. Extra thin. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Uh, my lord's orc friend, could you actually chain up on, you see over there, there are two trees mm -hmm. with rope hanging between the two. Can you hook on there? There are hooks on ground. You put it in their leg and then hang it. Can, can you do so for half I will do that. Excellent. And half Dan actually grabs you by the shoulder and goes, can I see lightning weapon you used that calls electricity, like like thunderstorm? Borky, in, in mid-speech, Borky like has it already pulled up from beneath him. You made this. This is a weapon that is like Uspa, and I think Frelda might like I, if I show. It's called, it's, it's like Hutzpa? Uspa is god of storms. Oh. Yes? Storms and ocean. Oh, no, you know, it's got, someone's lightning, not rain. That, well, it's lightning. Can you, right, can you one, spell one, Yeah, I can spell that. Yeah. God. Oof. The oh, right, of, you're one like fish a brick wall. No, no, I'm listening. <laughs> the god of Hutzpa. I thought that was Bugs Bunny. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh. Are you saying the god of lightning? That's interesting. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So the, the gears is turning a bit there. So like, is, so like, is he like made entirely of lightning or does he like have a lot of lightning? <clears throat> this is something we ponder, but we don't know. Oh, there's so many questions. But Something but, probably but, to ask in the clerical district board. Mm. I might do that. I, 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 I think Felda would like this if I, if I show her maybe, and uh, maybe she'll actually talk to oh, me. Oh, okay, and... but like, can I? Borky's still not like go of it. He's still holding on to it while he's holding on it. Yeah, but like, it's mine though. Oh, I, I half time will give back. This is not gift from you to me. This is I borrow, and then I give you right back. Borky gives him a firm look, and then let's go with both his hands. Oh, before you do that, can I insight check? Sure, sure, sure. Oh, 11, I'm not going to see anything. You, you don't. Like I, I'd like to roll that as well. I'm sorry. That's a little... Uh, that is shady. Can, can, can I can I see your weapon 
Oh, uh, what, son? I Wait. I just want to look at it. Okay. Yeah. God. Let me see your sword. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm task, you get the sense he wants to show off. Okay. The weapon a bit, like I... he's. He's using this as a as a vessel of showing off, and given okay. the culture, this makes sense. I actually want to get about fifteen feet away from what is going on. Okay. Yeah. Tass like pats Borky on the arm and just nods sagely, like, "No, it's fine. Let him have it for a few seconds." Okay. Borky's been doing this entire thing with a bear on his shoulders, right? <clears throat> or... I guess. Yeah, I imagine it's on the ground at this point. <laughs> yeah, you, you slumped you, you, off you, your shoulder. <laughs> okay. So Borky's like half dead, half. Uh, sorry, go ahead. All right, but whatever you do, uh, bring it back. Keep it in one piece, and don't give it to the kids unless they really, really are annoying. Until you give it to them, and Borky starts hanging up the bear. Okay, half dead winks and takes the the uh, lightning javelin and like very cautiously walks up to Frelda, who appears to be cleaning some of the the crabs, like just brushing them off, getting some barnacles off of them and chucking them to a pot. And you hear him speak in Northlander, and he's like, "Look, look at this this javelin." She takes one look at him, gets up, turns around, and walks away. And oh he my just God. looks so sad. He's like, damn it. Like, and he walks back and he hands you the lightning javelin, Borky. Oh, yeah, you can only use it oh. once a day. At least he's fine. Hmm. All right. Uh, bear. Uh, one who has done Nantra, would you like to help carve bear? Very well. Also, how long have you been at that whole affair of yours? What are they talking about affair? There's no affair. He scratches the back <laughs> of his neck. Uh, Borky will insight check if there's an affair. Okay, go ahead with advantage because he's a terrible liar. Oh god! Did Two. I just say the secret word? It didn't mean ah, to. So four. Oh, for fuck's sake! No. Four. four with advantage. <laughs> four. Fifteen. Uh. Fourteen. He's totally he's totally lying. Task. I mean, come on. <sighs> You have your eyes set to one. I just want to know, do you under do, can you think of a reason why this isn't working out for you? No, oh, half done knows. Then what is it? it Tass says while he has the dagger and he's ready to help out. Uh, he gives you the okay to to carve up the bear. Roll a survival check with advantage because this thing is hung very nicely. Twenty five. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you start cutting down the bottom of the bear. You're cutting off the fur. Uh, oh, yeah, half dan has this in the bag. Half dan starts working. Um, and he goes, uh, you see, when 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 Frelda was young, um, he oh, this is a very uncomfortable subject. Um, we left Longhouse for hunt. This is before half dan was part of family. Um, but Blighted Bear came into Longhouse and sort of, um, well, let's just say Ferelda does not have mother anymore because of Bear. And so for oh. this, she does not like Haftan and, and Haftan try, because Haftan is, 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 likes good Bear, not evil Blighted Bear, but it, it's hard. It, 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 I try. Blighted? Hmm. You have not heard of this blight. I've heard of people using that term for creatures with a pox on them, but this might be something more particular in your case. The blight in the Northlands comes in form of ice shards corrupted by darkness. We do not know what darkness is, but it affects animals and, and sometimes snowstorms can cause madness. It is very scary. This is why we do not go too far north. They, but they uh, use this darkness can imprison you. It's all you see. It's an absolute horror. Yes. I, yes, that was very articulate and almost rehearsed, but good, good, yes. Um, but it felt like Johnson did not like Bear. Then met Haftan and now like Bear, but Frelda <clears throat> was there when it happened. She holds a grudge, unfortunately, and it's not mm. of your doing. No, it is not, and half done understands. But half done keeps trying. Uh, perhaps it's best to stop, but... Uh... And at this point, <laughs> the bear fur falls to the ground. Oh, good cutting, my friend. All right, now let's get some of the fat off here. I grabbed some linens, and we put it in there. May um, I make a suggestion, half Dan? Uh, sure. Give it space, but don't give up on it. Yes, half done will try. Real quick Just... question. Mm-hmm. Where is everyone in relation to everything else? I'm trying to get a good feel on 
currently the longhouse is a long building um mm -hmm. on the uh, left side currently is where the bear is hung up and you guys are working you're on the edge of the left side of camp on the right side of camp the two orcs and told are currently uh flipping over the canoe at the moment just because mm -hmm. they're done fishing and uh frelda appears to have gone more towards the the right side of the camp as well to continue what she was doing uh just kind of avoiding half dan um so right. that's kind of where, where you're at right now everybody else you don't know where they are you assume they're inside considering right. you see smoke rising from the building not um, like it's on fire but like there's a fire inside until called i'm actually really curious how the people are going to react i'm actually going to go out find somewhere comfy to sit and start going back over the scroll that i've got okay like the one you were writing in no 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 the 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 the, the super special scroll the uh that 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 basically lines out all the techniques that no one else was supposed to know about but i have to clarify now oh okay gotcha <laughs> Um, well, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this point, uh, as you guys are cutting this bear up, which is hard, it's tough. Um, you realize why this is such a trial task. It is, it's tough meat. It's lots of muscle mm. and a ton of fat, like lard and half dance, just ripping that out and just putting on this linen it just keeps going and going. There's so much fat um and he kind of laughs he goes we did a good time and just keeps grabbing things and then cutting out honks of meat and setting them aside um and eventually borky you hear footsteps approaching you two step uh two sets of footsteps Bork, I, I look to see can borky see what's what he, what he what he hears yeah you turn around you see the two white orcs they're not really white they're kind of a light gray with with a bit of a hint of like a teal green almost but they're very white um, and they walk up to you and they kind of look to mm. you and they go, in, in orc, they go, a green one. White ones. <laughs> Porky gestures at them. <laughs> uh, they all, they, they come up and they bump uh, chests with you, like as a greeting. Uh, Borky, can Borky roll strength test to bump, bump chests against them? Sure, we'll do counter, we'll do counter strength checks for these guys. Alrighty. Natural twenty. Oh, oh geez. nice! Of all time. You, you, with the first one who you don't, you don't know which orc is which. They're twins. They look almost identical. Um, different clothing, a bit. You, the first one, you bump up and you almost knock him off, and his brother grabs him and just starts laughing his head off. And you hear an orc. He goes, "The green ones are stronger here," and it gives him a pat. And the brother is kind of pushes. He's just like a little bit like competitive and mad. Borky, but, Borky, hmm. just flex. He does this. Boom. Boom! Firepower! And Porky <laughs> helps pick up the white orc he knocked down. Hey. Oh, he's up. His uh, brother, his brother called Name's Porky the Oki. What's your name? Bulgrush. Bulgrush? Mm. And, and you must be Ugrush. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I can't tell you two apart. <laughs> they start laughing. They, they laugh uh, like it's, a, it's an old nice. joke. You know it's to be the best of lads. Bait an orc. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like this green orc. Now, do you have any grog or any kind of ale? We need to drink. We got mead. I mean, I could need some mead. Bor ah, <laughs> Bor they grab Bor you. Yeah, Borky's between those two running, walking off. Yeah, like dude bros, you guys are in. Borky, Borky, Bor <laughs> Borky throws gripples at panic. Hold on to him, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Uh, do I roll to catch it, or sure, ro roll a uh, uh, dexterity? Don't, oh don't fuck! Check. Oh no! <laughs> don't drop the Almighty. Twenty-two. You catch him. Okay. <laughs> it almost hits the ground, but you managed to catch it. Ah, oh, good. He didn't explode, but he's strangely cold. <laughs> Give me some warning next time. Porky's not listening. <laughs> Well, yeah, the, or the orcs are telling you their tale of, of travel and adventure. So one time, uh, one time, the guy I threw that at, I threw my lightning spear, and I nearly killed him. Uh, oh, the orcs cheer and, like, pat you on the back hearing your stories. It appears that's kind of what the North Northlanders kind of like. Uh, at this point, Task Halfdan is now plucking out all the, all the bear's teeth and the nails. Um, the paws have been cut off. The meat has all been separated. Um, the only thing is parts of the digestive tract appear to have been uh, set aside. They're going to use it for crabbing. Right on. 
but there's basically like a, like a really schematic way that that half den is kind of laying out all these different pieces of meat and he basically he gives you essentially like almost like 30 to 40 pounds of meat in a bag and he he wrap he shows you like this is okay this is enough this is more than enough thank you this is your good cuts here the other one you can make into sausage or perhaps dried meat ration <laughs> Unfortunately, half that I'm not the best one with cooking. We're gonna have to give this to our chef. I am more of those who are just able to hunt them. Excellent. Uh, panic. You notice as you're kind of standing around. You notice um, Frelda now is taking the fish that the the two orcs have caught, and she kind of sets it down on the table, and then she reaches back and she starts patting around. She's trying to find something, and she looks and she lifts up and you see a sheath at her side and it's empty. And she goes. Ah, she starts, like, you assume swearing in Northlander, um, and, uh, like, starts looking around. Can I, can, uh, uh, can I, in my broken Northlander, say you need help? Uh, sure, roll, I'll say his, uh, no, roll intelligence for this. Okay, uh... intelligence? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Uh, as you walk up to her, you say what you think is, do you need help? And she looks so offended. My mother was a no, saint. You said, "You said, do you suck too much?" In their language. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try to then convey through uh, pantomime, just uh, like you, your your sword missing. Need Roll help. Performance. I'm assuming he. I'm, I'm assuming you're doing the oh. natural. Oh. There we go. God damn, you lay out the epic. You you act out the epic of losing something. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's your Oscar-winning performance, and yet no one is here to see it except for uh, her. But she's impressed, and she does nod. She's like, mm. Nadine, I have a quick question. Is there any kind of Homer Simpson whoop, 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 running on the ground at all? Yeah. Uh, okay. maybe. Just, just a, li a, li a limited amount. <laughs> the Carly Shuffle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. But she does nod. She does understand, and she pulls the sheath from her belt. She like unlatches it, and she pulls it out and smacks it on the table, and just huffs. Mm, so there's, so there's a sword missing. It's it's a small. It looks like a small blade of some kind is missing. How small? Small enough to be wielded by a crab. I That's pull your out, hint. Oh, yeah. I, pull out, I pull out the card. Guys, I have a theory. <laughs> she she gasps when she sees it and she's like oh, Valtol, 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 like thank you, thank you, thank you. And she grabs I, it. I I I I I pantomime, I do a little spy crab with the with the carving <laughs> knife in my hand. <laughs> as so if as if, to, as if to portray I found a crab who had this knife. <laughs> okay. Also, the natural twenty. She nods like okay. All right. Why do I now imagine this like like a uh, fucking Family Guy's interpretation of William Shatner. <laughs> That's fair. Um, she pulls out a fish and she. Do you give her the knife? Yeah. Okay. You, she give her knife. She begins to cut and then she stops and she looks up at you. There's this <clears throat> moment of silence and she turns. Uh, Bulgrash, Kaif, and Bulgrash. She's hanging out with you, Bork. He goes, "Ah, oh, Kaif," and he he pulls uh, uh, basically another larger blade, something akin to what you used against the bear task, and he throws it to her. And oh no! Okay, she catches uh, it. Catches it with her stomach. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. that's, that's interesting. That Ugress, you have a knife. Right in the thunder wound. <laughs> Uh, and she grab she catches it, and then she shink pulls it out, and she hands it to you, and then she hands you a fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> thank, thank, health, thank you, Baddick. Health, health, and she grabs you by both like upper arms and brings you over the, around this basically this this table, and she puts your fish down in front of you, and like steadies your hand and in, in the knife. Oh shit! Okay, Pai, here Pai, we go. Paisan, and she flips her fish up. Kaif, okay, and cuts her fish, and then she points to like, "Now your turn, your turn." I, I I try to mimic what she does. All right, roll a survival here check. We go survival. Oh, good. Twelve. You do it so slowly; it's painful almost that you're just like <laughs> dragging the knife, and then all this like organ and goo and stuff is coming out, it's getting on your hands, 
And then she looks at you like, God, God, okay. Um, Paisan. And she pulls open her fish and takes her fingers and like goes down the spine and rips out all the organs and just <laughs> splats yeah! it. And she looks at you like, okay, now your turn. Oh, man. <laughs> That's actually a little awesome. Oh boy, here I, I, I again. I, I try to I, I try to do what she did. Okay. Uh as you do, you rip everything out. You feel something moving in the organs a little bit. Oh parasites. Panic freezes. Oh yeah. Oh, and he yeah. he looks at what is moving. He just kind of holds it for a moment. Uh it's an earthworm. It looks like it's the bait. <laughs> Um, and Frelda just starts laughing. She just starts laughing and she goes, Bogras! <laughs> and yeah, he yeah. turns and laughs and smacks his knee, like, oh, again? Like, oh, that's funny. Looks like you can reuse it. Uh, she tilts her head. She doesn't understand what you're saying. Uh, dude, just be happy it wasn't a tongue eating louse. Yeah, I, I was about I, to say, like, oh my god, it's Sakuma and Zekiwa? I, I pantomime. I pantomime making a hook with my finger and then putting the worm, like, like silhouetting the worm on my finger. It's like you yeah. can use it again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She pats you with her gross hand and then she begins to. Fantastic. <laughs> she like not on your face or anything. She just pats you on your your wrist and then she she basically just quickly cleaves her fish and then she finishes up yours and then just slap hands you another fish. I have to, I have to agree with our ch I have uh -huh. to agree with our chat real fast not to go away but I think you're now married in their culture. I think that might have just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, I Adam, she like gives you this gesture of again, again, and then hands uh, you another fish. All right, I I. I, I got the fish. All right. You guys got the fish. Borky, you shit the shit. Mm. Task, you you carve up a bear. Um, and uh, Greckles, you are, are chilling out. And one of the Northlanders does come up to you. And, like, he walks up to you and crouches and stares at you. It's Tolch, the guy you saved from the goblins. I just give him a, a kind of an... It's, it's, it's like um, the scroll is up to my face and it's just like... A cartoonish slow drop to my <laughs> eyes just going over the edge. Um, and then just kind of like, if I had an eyebrow, it would raise. So <laughs> a small piece <laughs> of my eye is just like going up. It's going down. Quick quick, quick question. Is, is, is Greckle smoking it all against a tree? <laughs> 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 hey, um, Greckle doesn't smoke. That's bad for you. A um this the spearman he's skinnier like all the other like Northlanders they're big dudes mm -hmm. um they are very rugged dudes um and even ladies to a certain extent but this guy's a little skinnier he's a little scrawnier um and he crouches down to you like he's kind of doing the Slavic crouch and he stares at you and you can see like the, the gears rolling in his head and he goes uh uh hmm, you uh, uh cobble cobble uh help Tolch. give I, I i i drop i roll the scroll up put it back in back in in inside my robe and just you know honestly i'm i'm going to smile and give him a nod he <clears throat> reaches out and he grabs your forearm like firmly like like yeah. the like a manly head and he gives you a shake yeah shake it back same firmness we, oh, ba, ba, da, da. he's trying to figure out the words. Like you can tell he's processing. Mm -hmm. We, uh, uh, sisters. Oh, now. Oh, what? <laughs> we, uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> what? I, 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 I give a smile and I put a talon to his shoulder in a very brotherly way. Yes. But yes. Brother. Ah, he smacks his forehead like, "Oh, I'm an idiot." No, I, 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 Greckles gives him a quick pat on the back and just a, just, just a good, good, a good toothy grin. Bra, bra, the, bra, the. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. And he grabs you and he lifts you off the ground. Um, uh, 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 you, Tolch, uh, and he waves his arms around to everybody. Uh, uh, he does like a, a motion, an eating motion. Uh, Eat. Eat. Yes? Uh, eat. Eat. Mm. I nod. He, he leads you into the house. He's, he's going into the house. Cool. He, I'll, I'll go with him. 
All right, everybody else at this point now uh, makes their way into the house. And inside the house, the kids are playing. Uh, one of the kids has a little wooden sword, and the girl is, uh, looks like she's playing with some sort of like a horse, like a little, like wooden animals. Um, and they're like talking with each other and whatnot. The mother, uh, who's, she just wants to sit. You can tell mom what just wants to sit. Mm. Uh, she's just kind of crocheting. Um, Olga is tending to the fire. And at this point, uh, panic, you and Frelda are bringing all these gutted fish and you're laying them out before this fire on, on spits, like these, these iron, like cooking things, essentially. Like they're laid over the fly, the, the fire laid over the fire uh kind of like a barbecue almost you know what i mean like a barbecue yeah. grill in mm -hmm. a way um and olga and frelga kind of go back and forth talking um uh, and then frelga nods and they basically begin to prepare food like they're starting to put fish on there with with um different herbs and spices and things like that um you see there's a couple rabbits currently cooking on sticks just on top of the fire um and the farthest off now you see uh, at this point Ugrush has left you and and Bullgrush and is is throwing the crabs uh, into the 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 basically the what remains of a fire like the charcoal of a fire and you watch as he throws these crab in uh, they move and then slowly stop and then begin to cook in the ambers of the fire and he begins to cover them up with these ambers and uh, Bjornsson comes down from the loft and he goes, oh, you're back, you're back. I heard, I, I heard there was, you got there. Congratulations, my friend. And he, he gives you a bow task. Congratulations, task. <laughs> oh, God no, damn I, it. I know that reference. <laughs> <laughs> task uh, bows back, uh, flips, uh, uh, takes the dagger, flips it uh, blade side to himself and hands the handle back to him. I am sorry this was too big for you, but it is the way of man trial. And we don't usually have kobolds in in families like this. They tend to stick to their own. It's quite all right. I'm not exactly the most normal of kobolds being exiled from my home due to unfortunate circumstances. I'm the last of my... Tr I'm, I'm the last of my clan, so... I would not expect this to be, have been easy either way. You will find brothers in Ulgrush, in Bulgrush, as well as Hafton. I won't lie. This has reminded me of home in some ways. Hunting, cooking, preparing, and cohesion amongst your kind. It's very similar to Iron Oath and how it worked. My it's friend, there very is, nice. My friend, my friend, he grabs your shoulder. There is no your kind. There is no my kind. There is only kind. You are welcome Thank here whenever you wish to hunt. Of course, following Olga's rules. <laughs> Greco's kind of lifts. Greco's will lift an eyebrow just kind of out of the corner. Well, uh, next part of man trial, we eat. And everybody sits down as the meal is cooking, and you guys get to partake in a Northlander feast. This is obviously a celebration. Um, there's tons of fatty fish. Uh, there's the crabs, mm. which at one point, literally when they're cooked, uh, Bullbrush grabs one, rips all the legs off of one side and just dips it in what looks like some sort of like butter and just eats can, them, like shell and all just so eats them. I want, I want Tass to like look like, he's about to pick up a crab, but then looks to see how everyone's like savagely going at the food. If they all look towards him, Tash just like, picks up the crab he was about to use like utensils or like gingerly open it just takes the whole crab and bites into the motherfucker nice. yeah there doesn't appear to be utensils in this eating arrangement it makes sense given where they're Can from Borky make an attempt to crack open a crab by smashing it against his head sure roll a constitution <laughs> check i guess natural one the crab is still alive and <laughs> <laughs> don't hey, don't 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 spoil don't spoil what my dreams are. <laughs> all right, Borky goes. Borky, see all this? Like Borky's just been slamming into the meat and the fish like crazy. Borky wants some of that goddamn crab. Borky smashes it. Not twenty. Oh my god. Twenty. 
you not only open your crab, but you open everybody's crab, and every time you do it, the entire room erupts uh, into cheers. It's like the Smash the Melons competition, except it's crabs with Borky. Borky sets us down, head desk. Borsi sets ones down, head desk. <laughs> Borky yeah. sets one. Um, what, what utensils are available, just by the by? Uh, sticks. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is cool. Okay, so um, Greckles is actually going to pick up his crab, take the sticks, and hold them in like chopstick position and just gingerly eat from the casing of the crab. The kids look at that and they start to, like they see you doing that and they like whisper to each other and they start to try to do it and they just keep dropping the crab. <laughs> and Strelda <laughs> like like it's just like talk all lot and like you're you're like just kinda like scolding them a bit and they point to you and she kinda goes, Okay, well, whatever. Like <laughs> do what you want. How far are we are we are we like in a are we in a big circle? Yeah, you guys are around a big fire in the middle, um, in the center of this I very large wanna, building. I, I, okay, so I'd like to have Greckles kind of inch over to the kids and just really, really close and sh closely show my talent, like the position of the bottom chopstick resting along the thumb and ring finger uh, and how the index finger and the thumb uh, hold, uh, hold it in order to actually maneuver it up and down as to try to teach them. Okay, you're gonna try and teach them how to do it. All right, let yes. me roll for Bratia. Would that be for performance? That would be intelligence, because you're teaching. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. If you want to roll for that, you this can. This is like the most meta thing you've ever done. Like, I will now teach children. <laughs> You'd be surprised at Greco's opinion of children. Um, oh, performance. Ooh, 18. Oh, it's intelligence. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I thought this was per... Oh, no, intelligence because you're teaching is... is oh, well, 19. Okay. 19, there you go. You teach them the... Um, the daughter is just, like, she's... Like, she's listening to you, kind of half listening, but she just wants to eat that crab, and she's just, like... She gives up halfway. The boy, though, is, like, really enthralled by you, and he does pick it up, and eventually he, like, eats something, and when he eats something with the sticks, he looks at you like he just conquered a lion. Like, he's, like, the champion Aww. of the universe. I wanna, I wanna, yeah. I wanna, I wanna take his hands in my talons and just, like, shake them. Like, not, like, like, in, in congratulations, not, like, spastically. <laughs> <laughs> he's confused by the gesture. Um, and then, like, looks at your your hand, like you're very foreign, and he's just like, uh, I I give like the biggest stupidest smile. <laughs> crab on Olga, crab on, and Olga turns over and nods and goes, I crab on, crab on. And uh, Bjornson, as he's eating his fish, kind of laughs and goes, <laughs> They called you Raven. I rather like that name. Yeah, that's pretty cool, that's actually. Not, that's rad. How's, how's Panic holding up with the uh, the dining? <laughs> <laughs> Panic, Panic doesn't really do seafood all that much, but uh, he he's he's eating all right. He's he's is there any is there any alcohol at the table? Uh, there's meat. They're they're passing around kind of uh, like oh. metal sterns, uh, clay kind of glasses, pottery. Okay. Um, Panic and... is going to be drinking as much as possible. Okay. okay. I want you to roll a Constitution saving throw. Oh, if you're this will end poorly. Oh boy. He's balance the. He's got. He's, he's got to do his training for the for the for the match. Hey, while he's rolling, what was the word for Raven? Cravon. Apply directly to the forehead. Ah, fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. You get through. I, I don't drink, so I don't know what the actual like. Buzzed. Much, yeah, you get. Okay, buzz. There you go. Thank you. You're getting buzzed, um, and you're a little, you're like, okay, doing good, doing good. And even some of the men are just like, drink, drink, chug, 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 chug. Like, they're cheering you on a bit, especially the orcs. It's just, I could drink as well as Northlanders, and I could beat a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> and you also eat the rabbit, which is really, really good. They put honey on oh, it. Oh, so it's like sweet, but it's been cooking slowly. Like that, that's what had me concerned. I'm just like, how well did they prep this rabbit? Oh, it's prepped. The only thing okay, is that okay. as you're as you're biting into it, you accidentally bite off a rib bone, and you're like, ugh. Um, <laughs> there's a decent amount of meat, yeah. but it's it's so good that you accidentally you you eat some bones kind of by accident. Ah, fuck it. Well, that's that's actually 
fine. T the tiefling diet consists of bone, actually. Oh, interesting. There you go. Yeah. So you guys eat and enjoy, and uh, Olga gets up and she jabs you in the back with her staff task. Ah! And she points a finger to the doorway. And she goes, Yidia. And she brings two fingers like, follow me. Cash shrugs, gets up from the table, looks at everyone, bows, and then follows. She steps out the front door, waits for you. And Half Dan follows as well and hands you the bear pelt. Mm. Uh, Tass looks over to Half Dan. I apologize for having to drag you out to be my translator. Uh, Half Dan cannot go with you. This is last part of your man trial, not Half Dan's. You must see Idia by self and gain guidance of ancestors. Oh shit, I'm going to go see a god. <laughs> Don't tell this one to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I make no promises. <laughs> Who are you talking? All right, task, task will take Task will take the pelt and say, you're, "Well, thank you for your assistance, Half Dan." You're coming back. I'm not going to die. We come back. We drink. Hmm. Very well. Task looks over to Olga, nods his head for her to do as she uh do as she's going to do. Mm, she nods. And you're kind of like a kid with a giant comforter. Like, you're kind of waddling with this fur. Yeah. Because um, it's big. Um, <laughs> and he leads you. And eventually, um, in the dark of the night now, at this point, there's a coldness to the wind. You feel winter on the wind. Um, and eventually, you're back at that shrine that you stopped by before you left. That half to knelt down uh, before. <clears throat> And right. Olga lifts a hand to stop you, and she shows you in her old woman way, like, she goes down to an E, <laughs> and then, uh, like, looks to you, like, points to her knee, like, because she's kneeling. Does the same thing as well. And she puts up a hand, like, wait there, stands back up, <laughs> you hear some cracking of the old bones. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> And you watch as Olga steps up to the shrine um, and begins to do a prayer, uh, which is not Northlander. Whatever language she's using is not Northlander. Uh, you assume it's probably Druidic. And she speaks to the altar. And... I have a question. I apologize. I, I, I'm so sorry to break this up, but does it sound like something Anj was speaking? Uh, roll an intelligence check. Let's go. 12. 12. <laughs> If you if you knew the language, maybe, but you don't know the language, and she's also speaking very fast. Okay. Like she's she's like like was, a thousand words a minute. It was worth a minute. shot. It was worth yeah, a it shot. was worth a shot. Um, and and she stops, and as she stops her prayer, you hear wings, as a raven lands on Olga's shoulder. Oh my ah! god! Greco's lands on her shoulder. I'm joking. No. It it is Greckles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she begins to call back to this this crow, or raven, sorry. She begins to talk to it almost as if, ah! And then the raven goes, ah! Riveting. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and it flies away. And Olga walks up to you and goes, Yidia has granted me a means to speak with you, scaled one. Do you understand me? Yes, she found a very nice way for you to speak common. I do understand you. The raven gave us a way to speak together, guided by Yidia. <coughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm rather shocked that this whole trial will actually lead me to speaking towards your deity. Mm, you will not be speaking to Yidia. Such things are only of the women of this clan. Such as me, and soon to be Frelda. She has a lot of, uh, jazz. She, she has a lot of, uh, work cut out for her, I imagine. She is trading strong. Her woman trial will be very soon. Mm. But for now, we focus on you. Very well. What would you want me to do? Sit. Stay there, young man. And she takes a thumb to what looks like a stick that was in the fire that you guys were eating from, and she takes her thumb 
and she brings her thumb with some of the charcoal down the front of your nose all the way. And then you feel marks underneath your eyes and down. All right. And she continues this and she steps back and she goes, step forward to the pedestal of Yidia and you will see guidance from your ancestors. Task is a little uh, skeptical that this is going to show his people and not the Northlanders, but very well. Okay. It does so. All right, you walk up, clack, clack, clack. There's stones leading up to this uh, very simple shrine. You see the animal parts you saw before, um, and there's a spot obviously cleared out for your bear, bear pelt um, on the main sort of uh, shelf of this shrine. Try to uh, neatly pack that on top of there without it overflowing it. Okay. You try to fold it. It's very heavy, but you manage to rest the head on top of the fur and lay it there. And you hear Olga speak to you. Now yield before Yidia. I don't mean to be ignorant, but how would one do so? Kneel before you. Oh, I, I thought you said yield. I apologize. Yeah, I, heard that, yield. That, that, I heard yield. Oh, so sorry. I would kneel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My old lady voice is a bit scarbled. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Sit. I kneel down. All right. You kneel down. Close your eyes. Tarask so? of the Red Scales. Mm, a, little, a little. Oh, well, he told her their name. It's fine. Do so. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do you feel the air of the forest? Yes, I do. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, over and over. Okay, well... <laughs> do you want me to roleplay that out? Because is there a time limit? Just Did keep I... going. Yep, okay. keep going. Okay, keep okay, going. fair enough, fair enough. The forest. The forest. Oath iron. Oath iron. The smell of the caves. The smell of the stone. The salt. Stalactites on the roof. You feel yourself damp. No more wind. That's a little strange. Try to breathe in anyway. You keep breathing in. Do you open your eyes? Uh, let's let's break an oath to a god. Let's do it. Crack an eye open. You are standing where your elders would meet. You remember this place. Stone slabs where they'd sit and talk. And then on one wall, a symbol of your clan. But where that symbol used to be instead now is a large silver wall. Shiny and smooth to the touch. Okay, well... The dwellers have been marked out. That's kind of unsettling. Let's touch that wall. You walk up to that wall, and with each step, you hear a boom, as if a larger footfall follows you. Boom. A larger footfall follows you. And you see, almost caged behind it, a dragon. Everything is grayscale. Oh, fuck. I don't know what color it is. Shit. Even you. <laughs> oh, no. And then you're back in the forest. Ah. Breathe. You're supposed to keep breathing. Oh, wait, is it over? Did you do it? Are you okay? <laughs> Grandma hobbles over. Did you do it? I saw a dragon. I didn't see what color it was. Hmm. Everything, well, everything was all dark. I, I walked up to a door of silver out of my, out of my council's, uh, my council's chambers. Our clan was marked out. I walked through the door and everything just turned metallic and all I could see was a dragon. Hmm. Hole, a dragon, and metal. Your guiding steps, if you can perhaps process this, as Halfdan has and Bjornsson has, they are not meant to make sense, but to show you perhaps a glimpse of your future. Oh, Lord, do they want me to see the Silver King? I don't know. She shrugs. 
Sask wasn't saying that to her. He just like looks up and like has a realization like this might be the old lady. Old lady. I'm just gonna actually do this though. Uh, can Task roll uh, intelligence to recollect on if the dragon looked like the blue the blue scale dragon or any representation of the Silver King? Disadvantage because you don't know what the Silver King looks like and you never got Did up close not... to that legend. Yeah, you, got, the... you saw the statue. That's about it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I mean. I was just, like, but I'll roll this bitch. I'll, I'm not gonna fight about him. Ah, five, five. Nah, no, no dice. No, you think you've never met the Silver King? You've seen a statue of him, and it's, it's I mean, it was nice, but it was not like a clear like representation. Um, and for the blue dragon, I mean, when you saw it, it was not like, oh, look, a dragon. It was like, ah, like you were running. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you didn't really have a lot of time to be like, oh, what's lovely anatomy? Um, <laughs> so it's, you don't know, but it is something. And in a way, like, you don't know if it's meant to lead you somewhere, but it is, it is sort of a gift in a way, what you received there. Um, and Olga stands there and you hear a as that raven lands on her stick and she goes, like shakes the stick and the raven flies off the stick and lands on her shoulder. Ah, ah. And she turns and calls back to it and she sighs and then the raven flies off and she goes, Kabolden, Kabolden, all fell. Ah, uh, uh, we're back to this then. Tass stands up. And you were led back to the longhouse. The rest of you guys have been eating, having drink. Like, people are just joking and laughing. Um, everyone uh, is having a good time. The children have been basically kind of went to go play um, in the corner. Eventually, you hear the door open, and you see Olga, Grandma, walk in. And she steps aside, <laughs> and you see Task enter in. And as he does, all the Northlanders stand up and start pounding their chest and cheering and clapping and like roaring with their drinks. The two orcs like smash their sterns together and start shaking them, <laughs> Yo. spilling ale. Like everyone's applauding you. Like you just did something huge. Yeah, Tash just like is actually taken a little aback by all the shouting, but. Yeah, it's loud. Um... Yeah, no. Well, no, he takes a back. He's like, oh shit, what did I? And then realizes they're all for him. And he's like, oh, well, thanks, I guess. Like he doesn't actually know how to take it. He like looks down a little bit. Let's do, let, let's make this even more stupid. Anime, hand on the back of the head, look down. Oh, <laughs> There you go, fan artist. You're welcome. What a weeb. <laughs> uh, you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh -huh. um, they, uh, Bjornsson goes up and goes, As chieftain of this clan, and since you have done mantrail with us, we give you gift from Northlanders. You have better meat, yes, and for this we hope you enjoy. But this is gift from our homeland, and we hope you like. And he pulls out a dagger, a really, really nice dagger in an ornate ivory sheath. Looks like some sort of walrus, maybe, of some kind. Um, and Bjornsson holds it to you, and he goes, Half done mentioned you like to hunt. This perhaps will be good for doing so and carving your prey. It will. Thank you. And Task will take take it by the handle and bow. Now oh, come on now. Feast, feast, eat well. You are nice. far too small. You need more muscle, and he pats you in the chest. <laughs> he's a little drunk, you can tell. Oh yeah, um, yeah. He's, he's he's having a good time. Um and you guys sit down and you enjoy and the night processes. And as it does, you guys are enjoying, you guys are singing, you guys are laughing. Then you hear a crashing noise inside the house. You hear a dish break. Oh. Stand and up, look to it. Oh boy. Everybody goes quiet. And even Olga's like, Hurr! like she she's kind of having a half nap and she just stops <laughs> and she looks. And you see Bjornsson's wife who's pregnant. Uh oh. She is leaning up against the post at the moment. Oh and fuck. Bjornsson runs over and begins to speak in Northlander to her. And she goes, she's like patting, and then the two orcs turn to each other and go, Babu. Babu. <laughs> Babu. Babu. Oh no. And Olga gets up and hobbles over, and Frelda is just like, Psh, she's right there. And uh, immediately you hear, like, <sighs> like she's panting, she's having a hard time. Um, and what was once like, hooray, all of a sudden went, oh God, oh God. Everyone at this point is stressed out. 
Um, the orcs are like, uh, the turn to you, Borgo. Uh, the children, distract the children. You gotta distract the children. Cage, look at this. Borky jumps out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and the tens, tens looks to the kids. What are you waiting for? After him and holds his hand to the window. Like, go after him. The kids cheer and go after Borky, who went out the window. By jumping out the window? By I jumping out the window? <laughs> I had to think fast. <laughs> I'm not even going to make you roll for that. I don't care. That was, you know what? I'll give it to you. The kids scramble out the window, too. Do not cut themselves on the broken glass or whatever. Uh, there isn't really any glass. It's just like a latch, like a latch wooden thing, which you destroyed. Good job. Um, and... You watch as, as Frelda and, and Olga begin to help uh, Sidra, who's pregnant, into what looks like another room. And they're speaking to her in hushed tones, like comforting her. And she's just, she's already in pain. Um, oh, Jesus. And you see her go into a room. Um, and then as they are, like Bjornsson's helping, um, so is Tolch. And you see Olga grab Frelda by the arm. And Frelda stops and turns around. And Olga nods to her and hands her her staff. And Frelda looks at the staff, looks up to Olga, looks to you guys quickly. Uh. <laughs> and she nervously nods and then goes into the room. And Olga steps over and sits next to you guys and eats some berries out of a bowl like she's on a plane trip and she has nothing better to do. What? <laughs> I've faced, I've faced a demigod. I, I I don't say this out loud. I faced a demigod. We've gone through <clears throat> hell and back. We've fallen from the sky. I killed a bear. But Lord Almighty, I am in more fear than I've ever been in this entire journey. You begin to hear screaming coming from the room, um, and then you see Frelda throw open the door, and she goes, "Bjorn's and Flynn." And she points to you, Panic, who are the two biggest who have le been left behind. Panic. Because <laughs> uh, the orcs have all taken the Panic, kids out. Panic just looks for, looks up from his mug, just like, huh? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, and then she looks, Greckles, you're probably the next biggest. Mm -hmm. uh, she points to you two, and she gestures you, like, come in here. Yeah, do it. I, oh, I, my I, God. I, 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 no. I, yes. I ninja, da I ninja dash in at the opportunity. Okay, you ninja dash in. Uh, panic, what do you do? I... <laughs> oh my I, god! No. I continue to pantomime, and I say, I, I pantomime, I've had a few, are you sure? <laughs> uh, roll a performance <laughs> with disadvantage, because you're drunk. 24. Okay. Uh, Felda, like, rolls her eyes with her entire body, like, oh, like, come on. <laughs> come in, like, come here, come here, come here. Uh, okay, I, I set my stuff down and I go inside. <laughs> Drunk Dr. I, I am reminded of the uh, scene from Knocked Up where the guy goes into the middle of delivery. Get out! Rickles <laughs> <laughs> comes out. I shouldn't have gone in there. <laughs> uh, at the, Taz, I, want to, I, want, I want to do just one thing. Tash looks to Olga real quick and just kind of, like, mutters, woman trial? Olga turns and nods very slowly, like a sly old fox. <laughs> Woman trial is having a child? She shakes her head, no. Okay. <laughs> she does like a motion, which is like delivery, like delivering oh, the child. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Greckles and Panic, as you guys enter in, uh, you see Bjornsson face down on the ground. It appears that he's fainted. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. Okay. Uh, and she points at both of you and points at him and just get him out. Like, get him out of here. Do I need to make a strength check to drag him out? Both of you window. strength checks. Yeah. Oh my God. Do we, do we get right. advantage because we're doing it together? Yeah, you guys. I'll give you guys advantage. Oh, oh good. That's a big three. Uh, <laughs> and it's, up, it's up to me. Let's see if my drunk strength will save us. <laughs> is, is it a saving throw? It's a, a oh no, it's a strength check. Oh god, check. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, it's still fi oh, five. five. Oh. Two well, more, two. hooray. Mm, here we go. Twelve with advantage. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, you guys grab him by the, the feet 
and you just start dragging him out by his like he's on the stomach and the ground this is not like there's no texture to this floor it's dirt you grab him and just drag him like out of the room and you guys as you guys are walking one goes around one post and one goes around the rudder and accidentally cook <laughs> hits him between the legs with the post oh. and you're like oh crap <laughs> and you bring him out and pull him over near the fire and you just hear like just screams and like like like, like shrieking but like just like labor sounds she's just not having a good time immediate dash what, back what yeah. can you, can you is okay, it okay to hear, is it so okay to hear something out what, that's happening outside you just hear the audio of it oh sure. it's past the gripples <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no it's still with panic no i i'm assuming panic gave it back no you guys i assume yeah. you guys would give it back okay to him. yeah yeah you're going back in greckles i'm going back in okay panic are you going back in i might as well <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine you with like a stein. You're like cool birth, right? <laughs> cool birth, bro. Man, the only chicks at this party are pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 terrible. Oh, um, uh, it's funny because only one of them is, and the other is too young, too old, and ones you have no idea. Um, so you guys walk in, and um, currently Sidra's standing up. Like she's up. She's got there's two pillars, and she's holding onto them. And she's standing up, and you hear Frelda like telling her to breathe, trying to calm her down. And she turns. Hmm. Frelda oh, turns. Eh? Okay. Uh, I'm going to cat. I'm going to oh. subtly cast calm emotions. Oh, right. Roll a sleight of hand with disadvantage because you're drunk. Sleight of hand. Oh, <laughs> with this, yeah. with this is all right. Here I go. Sleight of, sleight of man nine. Nine. Sleight of man. <laughs> sleight I wanted you to nat one and slap her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, calm down <laughs> calm down woman uh, you cast a spell Frelda notices she gets ready to like like yell at you and then she stops and she looks at the staff she takes a deep breath like it's okay and she goes back and, and sure enough your spell does calm down Sidra a bit um, Frelda points to what looks like a cauldron like a water cauldron and she points to that um Greckles, and then she points to you and does like a drinking water motion, mm -hmm. as if she's drinking water, and then points at the cauldron. Uh, I go get the cauldron and water and bring it over. Okay. Uh, then she points over to a fire that's sitting in the corner, like like cauldron fire, cauldron fire. Uh, put it. Is there a, is there a place to hook it on top? Uh, there is. Yeah. Uh, I'll hook that on top then. Okay. It begins <clears throat> to not boil, but it begins to warm up. Um, Frelda then turns to you, Panic, and pretends to take off her shirt, like, take off her jacket, and she points to you, like, take off, take off. Okay, I, I take off my jacket. Okay. <laughs> she lays it beneath, like, underneath, uh, Sidra, um, who is still <laughs> having labor pains. Hope you didn't want that back, bro. Uh, that's fine, I can just press the digitation it later. <laughs> like, four times. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Childbirth is the most metal thing ever. <laughs> this is uh, like the eighth time you've done that in like almost three sessions in a row. Yeah. He's mess prone, I guess. Um, Cass, you are sitting out with Olga and Olga is just like, I'm just eating my chestnuts. And you're just like, you just hear screaming and yelling and like just chaos in the other room. Jorgensen's face down on the dirt and hasn't moved for a while. Um, <laughs> and you hear the sounds of uh, essentially, whatever Greckle, Gripples is made out of smacking up against the wall. Uh, <laughs> eventually, Greckles, your water warms, and Frelda runs over, grabs it, and sets it aside, and hands you a cloth. Uh -huh. And hours passed. One hour passes. Two hour passes. She's still in labor. Three hour passes. Ooh. She is not having a... She's sweating. She's red-faced. She is struggling. Eventually, Taz, half Dan wake uh, not half Dan, sorry. Uh, Bjornsson wakes up um, and, like, is just like, uh, uh, and he gets up and he's like, Sidra, Sidra. And Olga, like, just grabs him by the back of his pants <laughs> and just pulls him. And he just turns and he sits down. And it's just like, he looks so ragged and wide eyed and terrified as he reluctantly sits down next to you, Task, and rocks back and forth as you hear his wife like wailing i just imagine the both of them now just sitting there flinching at every <clears throat> yep uh as you're outside uh work you have to eventually leaves and goes inside 
um, and sits down with Utask and his his friend Bjornson and and reassures him, patting him on the back. And you assume in Northlander telling him it's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be fine. And he just rocks back and forth. He's looking so dizzy and lightheaded, like he's so stressed. Task is just like this is child labor is so much more violent sounding than it is for kobolds than it is for humans. Yeah, it's pretty bad. By, by the way, um, I was given a cloth and three hours passed. What the hell am I doing with this? You're sitting and waiting. Frel, every time you try and move, Frel is like, just sit back down. I hope this kid comes out like a fucking mortar's getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm just sitting there like, like, flies, like a freaking... Flies right like, through panic spear wounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, freak, I'm, freaking, I'm freaking sitting there like, a, like I'm holding the pitcher's mitt. Yeah. <laughs> Or catch I am. Another. I am also <laughs> casting spells left and right to help this woman. Yeah, I, you... I cast heroism. <laughs> 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 She's already a goddamn hero. <laughs> There's a moment where you see her stressed out, and then she stops and she goes, "Yeah," and then she just goes right back to being like, ah. <laughs> "Yeah." One turn passed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's um, drunk. He can't keep the ritual. And then eventually, um. You hear Frelda, like, now you know it's time. Like, you get the sense Frelda is right there. And you you hear, like, say essentially what you can only assume is push, 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 push. What do you guys do? What do you do, Bannock? I am readying mage hand in case <laughs> anything goes wrong. Okay. Um, and as she pushes, you guys task as you're sitting in the living room after so long you hear one long scream i want everybody in that room to roll a medicine check oh panic and greckles uh oh, okay. that's only four. Oh. Hi. 14. 14. okay and greckles hits, the greckles hits the floor in a faint <laughs> hey this isn't uh, a constitution check no. <laughs> frelda frelda rolled a 24. So she did quite good. Uh, the baby comes and really fast, Frelda deals with the umbilical cord and cleans it all up. And she turns to you, panic, and like points to Sidra and goes, like, help her, help her, help her lie down. Like, help her lie down. Uh, okay. I, I, I go over and I, I, I help her just lay down. Okay. Um, you drag your jacket, you put it on her head, and she lies down. Um, there's some other furs and cloths and thing you're able to kind of cover up and keep her comfortable. And she she's just like she's been between hell and high water. She looks exhausted. Um, and you guys hear Task as you're sitting there. Bjornsson shoots up from his chair. You hear a baby crying. Mazel does he ca does he, ca yeah. does he cowboy walk into the into the room? <laughs> he gets up again and Olga grabs him by the butt and makes him oh. sit down. Uh, you guys outside also hear the baby as well. Happy birthday! <laughs> God oh, damn God. it! The the freaking birthday. I God, <clears throat> I do I do some more pantomiming, <coughs> and I I I um I do with both of my hands and make and make like an inquisitive uh the rock eyebrow raise and I, I i make the shape of the male and female symbols with both of my hands and i go hmm uh she looks i'm trying to i'm for clarification i'm trying to ask if it's a boy or a girl shit i need to roll for that actually. oh my god uh oh let me grab my dice character generation folks live, right here right live. now live. <laughs> the newest <laughs> member of the unexpectables just got born all right if it's if it's an 11 or higher it'll be a girl if it's beneath 10 it'll be a boy it's a boy hey! Yay! how much of a man how Edge. much of a man is he is it a nat one baby <laughs> Uh, no, it's not a nat one baby. It's a he just six, comes out with baby. a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Motor, I am ready to beard. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right. Oh fuck. Um. <laughs> Greckles, uh, eventually Frelda brings the baby to you, um, and she points to the, the warm water, and then uh -huh. points to the baby, and points to the cloth, and, and hands you the baby, which is just crying. It's wailing, it's 
got no, no, it's, it's grossness fine. on it. It's, it's fine. It's, yeah. And as she hands you the baby, she goes over to Frelda and immediately tends to her. You see healing spells. You see all kinds of things um, being used on on the mother who is who is like talking to Frelda with in whispered tones, like, "Oh, thank you." Like you don't really know. You can only really assume. I'm uh, I'm, I'm I'm taking. She wants me to try and, and and get the baby a little bit cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so, what the so letters are. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and. You are able to, you find a way to bundle the baby as well, and do you give it to the mother? Well, yeah. No, it's my no, baby. We, it's my no, kid we, now. It's my, my baby, baby now. We kidnap it. The I'm ultimate the rogue. Uh, you... a, I slide a pan for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> just pocket the kid. Can I, can I please roll that just out of character? Sure. I'm so curious. Sure. Remember, this is this plus is five. Reckless. If this works. Okay, it would only be a 15. It's hard to pluck at a baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they make too much noise. And... Put, it, put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. <laughs> put it in the bag. You could be tubs. You could be... A sentence I never thought I would have to say. It's yep. hard to pluck yep. at a baby. Um... <laughs> Sorry, your baby vanished. I don't know. Oh man, it must have been the Fae. Where'd it go? It just disappeared. Uh, <laughs> you walk over, oh. you, you hand Sidra her, her baby, and she holds it, and Frelda, like, just, she's exhausted too. Uh, she sits down and she gives guys the okay, it's, you guys could go. Like, you guys yeah, are yeah, free. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry to break up this tender moment, but Greco just like, holds up the kid. Like waves his hand and goes away and pulls out a card. Is this your card? <laughs> <laughs> I take I take I take a I take an apple or a grapefruit and just kind of wrap it up in the cloth. You put the Here baby you behind. You put the baby behind your head and pull back a cord. <laughs> 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 you, you do you do the thing you do you do the removing the finger trick but you take the baby's head off <laughs> oh my god there's <laughs> oh god, borky when i need him all right oh, oh grippos no be passing back <laughs> We, we, we uh, will not kill any children. Oh my God. Uh, as you two leave, uh, at this point, Bjornsson has made his way to the door and goes into the room uh, to see his wife and his new child. Um, and uh, Frelda actually does follow you out, seeing that her brother wants to spend some time with his wife. Um, and <laughs> you all walk out looking exhausted and terrible, uh, but there is a crying child next door, and that is good. Uh, Olga stands up and Frelda goes to give her back the staff and Olga just pushes the staff right back to her and goes up the loft, appearing to go to bed. Cool. <laughs> Probate's got the right idea. Episode title, it's hard to pocket a baby. <laughs> I, I'm already thinking it might need to be. Yeah. Um, so what you guys do? You task, you see as uh, Panic and Greckles come out. Uh, Panic, you did get your jacket back as Hooray. well. You have that. I pressed it into <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> you clean it off. Yeah. <laughs> Dying. Oh, God. So, uh, how did it go? <laughs> there is a baby. I can tell. That is good. I did not know you were one with nature. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I hold up my sign and I take another drink. <laughs> Greckles has, has an internal shifty eyes. <laughs> the ultimate crime. Could have been. The ultimate crime. <laughs> what could have been? His name would be Crime oh, Baby. There's, there's somewhere in Universe B, there is a baby inside a pocket. God damn it. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> I hear crying, baby, and all I think of is just a baby with a mask on saying, Ah, oh, I need a medic bag! <laughs> it, ha oh, okay. 
<laughs> Should we take a quick break? Because I'm actually kind yeah. of like dying. Oh, okay. <laughs> take, yeah. take take a break. Here, <laughs> guys, let me grab some water. Okay. Oh, I need water. One, one sec. I need. I need air. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to turn my fan on for a second. It's hot in here all of a sudden. <laughs> Chat gets it. Thank you, Paqua1312, so for the 1,000 bits, and probate for the 1,000 bits as well. Guys, thank you so much for swinging by here to the Unexpectables. This is this is freaking hilarious. Nadine, Nadine, I hope we, ha I hope mm -hmm. we haven't ruined the tension of the scene you were building towards. No, that was funnier. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I was actually, actually honestly scared for Zito for a minute. Like, is he going to pass <laughs> out? <laughs> hmm, hmm. <laughs> but how can we ruin it? <laughs> Uh, oh man! <laughs> oh, God, I just can't stop that. imagining the baby's dead. Uh, uh, just doing the grackles, just doing that teeth smile with the teeth <laughs> while he's doing it. <laughs> A baby that just has all of its teeth. <laughs> oh. oh my God! <laughs> oh, but guys, this is. I hope you guys are enjoying the unexpected. Thank you so much for the bits being dropped uh, during the stream so far. Like this is being. You guys have been super kind. Uh yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, this is this has been fun so far, and uh, I, I I love stuff like this. Oh, Sandy, idiot! Thank you so much for the three thousand oh, bits. Okay. It's five a.m. I was doubting <clears throat> if I wanted to stay up this lo this long, but damn, if I'm not glad I did. Thank you so much, Sandy, idiot, for the three thousand bits. Oh, more chocolate. Oh, more chocolate. <laughs> I was half expecting Greckles to be shocked that it wasn't an egg. <laughs> Greckles, okay. You would know. Gre you would. Greckles has been around. Ooh. <laughs> No, Eric Zan, thank you for the 300 bits. Yes, nice. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. To Monty and Zito, what, what, what would a, what a conversation between Gammy and Ty be like? Oh, my goodness. Gammy and Ty. That'd be healthy. Come on, great. Thank you for the 400 bits. Are we all good to go? Uh, I think Zito's Zito still died. He actually passed out on the way to the bathroom. He's gone now. Oh, no. He was dead. Gino cause eight one thousand bits. This is baby one with pocket. <laughs> Rocky J, thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> Title idea: the unexpected ads. <laughs> Gammy and Ty sounds like a Boy. Chuck Jones cartoon. <laughs> this this the, like it's it's really interesting. I don't think there is a fight you could whip up money that that wasn't more like. Stressful, stressful than that. Yeah, childbirth is probably one of the most stressful things. Childbirth in, the world. in combat. Let's do it. <laughs> and no, that man. and that is and that is why Aki and I are not having kids. Well, oh no, I don't want kids this is someone, someone, Someone's giving birth inside. It's inside the sweet dragon, and then Tiango busts in. It's like this is this is it, guys. <laughs> No, no, no. This, no, Tiango looks at the situation and the screaming woman and the baby coming out and he just slowly backs out. The and door. the music is quieter. Tiango, Tiango saying no. Tiango. <laughs> I'm back. I had to get cough drops. To okay. Dear Lord. You guys ready to go? Do we have Snake here too? Oh, sna uh, Snake. Nope. Snake is still AFK for a quick sec. Honest, honestly, honestly, thank you for the 100 bits. And I believe someone else dropped 100 bits. Oh, Demon Zero X, thank you so much. As well, guys, we appreciate all the support here. Oh, SF Co. I am SF returned. Co for the 400 bits. All right. Oh. All right, Snake is back. <clears throat> I will say for the sake of brevity, uh, Half Dan, uh, Borky, you and the orcs come in. The kids are completely exhausted playing their game. Uh, they actually got bored of it and actually began to play with look like some sort of like tag How variant. Could you get bored with cast the um, ripples. Like I'm stunned. Children these days. <coughs> <laughs> the sons of the north will die this day. <laughs> uh, Half Dan and the two orcs, uh, Old Grush and Bull Grush, they hook you guys up with with a place mm. to sleep. Um, there's not really separate rooms uh, for the men. Uh, like it seems like it's like the women sleep in one space, the men sleep in the other. Um, <laughs> So that you guys get set up with some furs, um, some bear furs, some wolf furs, and uh, it's toasty, it's warm. Um, and you guys go to sleep for the night. Uh, you do hear Half Dead take some furs down to that room where uh, Sidra gave birth, obviously to give something to them uh, to sleep with. Um, and the kids uh, come up and, and go to their respective sleeping areas as well. Um, you guys get your full night's rest. Uh, you panic. You the moment you hit those furs, you're you're gone. You're 
Uh, Task, you're good. Uh, Greckles, you're a little exhausted as well. Borky, you're yeah. fairly exhausted. Yep. And you guys sleep. <clears throat> Final Fantasy yeah. sleep sound effect. Da, 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 da. <coughs> you wake up the next morning and you smell, uh, you smell food. Uh, Bor <clears throat> Bor can Borky real quickly before anything? Can Borky find Bulk Rush and Ug Rush real fast out, out in the morning? Before sleeping or first right, thing, thing in the morning? Dude, they're sleeping right next He's, to you. Wait, wake them up. Hey guys. We should. We should. Yeah. No, 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 wake up, wake up. Bor Borky just kind of like wake up, wake up, wake up. Pop pokes them both on the head. Tass yeah. slaps his hand and gets up. All right. What? What is it, Green Brother? It's <clears throat> time to do that thing I told you about at dinner last night. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> and what? Either Bullgrush or Ulgrush smacks the other twin. You don't know who's who. You just you, you've given yeah. up at this point. Are we awake when this happens? No. I did. I did assume not. <laughs> oh. For Panic and you, Greckles, you two are out. <clears throat> so, okay, so let me get this straight. Borky is, is consciously about to do the morning ritual with a newborn baby in the house. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and, and you said I was, I am I possibly awake? <clears throat> uh, you're awake, yeah, because you didn't, you know. Bar like Tass, like, 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 lazy, like, you know, like when you wake up and you're just groggy as shit, you're like slouched over. Tass like shambles his way next to Borky, like knocks on his on his leg what? for a second. What? Borky, I, I just can I make a suggestion? You want to join in? Well, no, no. no I want to. I want to ask really. you. Listen, listen, li listen, listen, listen. A kid was just born yesterday. You might want to do this oh. out in the woods. <clears throat> think of think of all the animals that could hear this. Better yet, brother, we could take you on boat to get home, and you can do it on our boat in the middle of the ocean. <clears throat> Don't you want to scream at the sea, Borky? See if it screams Stupid back. Sea. Okay. <laughs> it has crabs, yeah. Borky, and you know how much you like crabs. <laughs> Borky's like, fine. It's a good point, Tice. <laughs> but you, boy, have you have to join me. Oh my god. <laughs> I half expected this to be a Ren and Stimpy moment where Ren is just like completely dead faced sleeping going over knocking on the leg and just like slapping him in the face with a big exasperated hand <laughs> you idiot <laughs> but you have to join me task that's the deal with me and old grush and bull grush tash just waddles no, back no no Bar borky grabs it by the head respond <laughs> this is a <laughs> borky just grabs him by the hand i'm serious you gotta join in task Whatever. Is that is that commi I committed whatever out of character? Insight. I want an insight. <laughs> <laughs> Do I gotta 13. roll deception? Roll deception, yeah. Oh, oh piss. No. Aw. Well, all right. I guess I'm fucking in this. Yes, I guess. you are. <laughs> I can't wait to ask. And, and, and Borky kind of like pushes him back to bed. <laughs> oh God. Uh, at this point, panic, you wake up and your head feels like it's been split open. Yeah. Fight through the pain. <clears throat> Make my liver grow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Greckles, you wake up. Not hungover, but a little tired. Oh, well, yeah. You think what? that's bad? Wait till you actually have to do the contest. <laughs> what do What do we smell? Or rather, what do I smell, by the way? It smells like, like <laughs> bacon? <sighs> Ooh. The best hangover cure. Yeah. Breakfast. No, no, no. Bacon legit is like one of the best hangover cures. Oh, sweet. I need something greasy and full of starch. <laughs> well, Gre Gre Greco's kind of puts an arm yeah. under him to try and help him get downstairs. Why would you want Sir, why would you want Sir Strong's mustache? Yeah. Did anyone get it? Did anyone get hey. it? That is that is that is an insult to our friend, Mister. Oh, fuck the grease makes it stylish. Yeah, good morning, my friends, and half Dan waves to you as you guys come down the loft. <clears throat> good morning. Congratulations oh. on the babu. Oh, it's not. It's not half no, Dan's babu. It is. I'm not in general. 
Oh, yes, our clan grows bigger this day. He's good, but they are still resting, and this is for good reason. <clears throat> Can't imagine the first night's going to be all that good. Uh, no, there will be lots of crying, but there is many who can take care of Babby. What? Did anyone decide on trying to think of a name for it? Uh, yes, they have come up with name. His name will be... Oh, sorry, let me find the baby's name. <laughs> Just look around, like, damn it, Zito! <laughs> no, I have a baby's name. Okay, okay. His name will be Loken. Loken? Loken. What, what does it mean? Loken means one who is clever. All right. Brad. Uh, you see, me simply being there automatically made the baby more clever. This actually was Frelda's idea because she thought because of your enchantment, baby might be more like you, as in sly and able ah. to, uh, well, you know, I have to and we'll stop speaking now. <laughs> Take on. Oh, yes, please. They'd serve you like pieces of bacon and, and, uh, <clears throat> It's a few eggs um, and some leftover fish, uh, dried meats, things like that, and, and some very tough bread. Um, but it's food and it sits well. Money. Mm -hmm. Why is it every? Why is it every time we have a meal in game, you just make yeah, me hungry? Like... When it comes to the harvest vessel, you got a big storm oh. coming. No, no, this isn't <laughs> fair. I want, I want bacon now, and my wife, poor wife is sick. She can't cook. Oh, it's okay. Make it yeah. yourself. Yeah, make your own bacon. No fucking bacon. <laughs> you selfish <laughs> bastard. I can try. It's um, real fucking easy. You guys eat. Uh, eventually, groggily, Bjornsson makes his way out of the, the room. And uh, half Dan speaks to him uh, <clears throat> in, in common. He's like, how, how is baby? And Bjorn's like... Sleeping is good, is good. Wife is tired, so tired. And Afton goes, do not worry, friend. I'll deal with outsiders. You you stay with wife. And they both like grab each other's shoulders, give kind of a manly squeeze. And he yeah. grabs like a big thing of bacon and leaves and goes back into the room. <laughs> nice. Frelda is currently cleaning, uh, cleaning up some stuff and just generally kind of working here and there. Uh, the staff is on her back. And Grandma's sitting and rocking on a chair. She's just yeah. content. She's retired now. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I can die! Did, did, did she come home with us and live with us? <laughs> can she be our, can she be screw our pocket, druid? Screw pocket babies. I want a pocket gammy. <laughs> Wait, let me, chair. let me make the attempt. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm just super curious if I could technically get away with it. No, another 15. God damn, I'm blowing. I'm blowing roll thieves tonight. Are you trying to steal grandma? Uh, yeah. Pocket grandma. <laughs> I try to pocket grandma. <laughs> you poke grandma in the knee and she looks up at you <laughs> and gives you this this like very suspicious grandma look. So, which your feels... wife would sin. <laughs> I do that. No, I, that's I do me. That. I do that 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 like that that Looney Tunes like s nervous grin, tip the hat, and just slowly shift off screen. <laughs> Milady, uh, it has been good that you've been with us, but this is time for you to go home. Your bear meat will go bad yeah. soon. So, yes, we got to get this to our chef ASAP. Yeah. Oldrush and Bulldress are willing to to boat you home. I am so excited for this boat trip. Last time I was Task kind of Task kind of tenses up at that, like, oh, really? Huh. The last time I was on a boat, I got thrown off the boat. So it'd be nice to get dropped off properly this time. I've never been on a boat. But how'd you get down with us? It's really oh, easy. Oh, I thought I thought it, I thought it was attached. I apologize. So Task, I... it's simple. You just sit. <laughs> it's really not hard. Come Fair enough. Fair enough, I didn't know Alavast was broken off from, like, water to the north, so I will redact that. It's actually from the east. It's it's water from the east. All right, all right, I'll redact that, whatever. Yeah. Half Dan goes up to you, Tass, and goes and puts a very, he engulfs your shoulder and goes, My friend, Tarisk of the Red Clan, you have done man trial. You can conquer much. You must set mind to it, though, my friend. <laughs> well, if I... 
if I can boost my ego with the vision I had when I was up there, then by God, that sounds like a good idea. Afton will miss all of you. Aww. You have been good, refreshing change. We we don't get travelers much as Northlanders. It's is new thing that happens when we've come here. If I have free time, I actually wouldn't mind coming down here for hunts just for fun. Well, hunts are over for this season. Now it is winter, Miss Wait, and, uh, well, anticipate next hunting season. But we will be at Harvest Festival, so we will we will say hello. Look for the sweet dragon. The, why is the dragon sweet? It's an inn. In what? It's, it's, a, a, pl it's a place to drink and sleep. Place to drink? It's like a house. It is like a house, but you get to live there for a few days when you're in some place new. I, I see. It's like like visiting other leader of of clan, and you stay. I half something down like we'll that. Figure yeah, this yeah. Out. yeah, half down we'll figure don't, this out. Don't don't worry. We're the leaders of that place, so don't worry about no. it. Borky, oh, yeah. do, Borky, do you, do you have our business I cards do right here? And just Borky just hands a piece of paper with just a line written on it. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Always complicated, everybody. <laughs> I was hoping you would roll with that bit. <laughs> and uh, Ferelda, will you take them to... And Ferelda just walks past them uh, and out the door and kind of gives a gesture for you guys to follow. I have then one more thing. Yes. Before I go. And I, I, I pull them aside. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I make sure we're alone before I do this. One who is with goat. <clears throat> you are one of the only people who know of my past and how hard it is for me. And you share that with me. So I want to give you one last gift before I go. Mm. And I pull out my disguise kit. And I'm, I'm going to go like 300 on his abs and his muscles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just like spray paint him to make him more def I'm trying to make this guy look as sexy as possible. And so it had to be done. By taking the <laughs> Northlander with the... With the, with the, with the rocking kit. sweet abs... <laughs> uh, roll disguise kit. So saith the gods, you could you could grind meat on those things. Luckily, they had an abundance of bear meat. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay, you done this, and he's like the one who is with goat. I appreciate, but but I mean, the half done is not half decent looking. Man. Oh, oh, careful where you put that. <laughs> Uh, but uh, is, this is, issue is not of that of of, of handsomeness. Ooh, oh, it's cold. Uh, but rather that of um, uh, ca character. Hmm. I do. I do. Trust good, me, though. the the character will come later. Once she, you just need to get her to talk to you honestly. Okay. I just I just helped you out from this is coming from a man who uses his handsome. This to get everywhere in life. So you are like Faye. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I now, give him a wink. Uh, now the rubber band's on the other claw. I am going to roll a charisma check for half Hot. in. Let me grab the sheet. With advantage because of your disguise. And <clears> I'm <throat> going to roll for Frelda. As. Ferelda's kind of calling, like, let's go, let's go. Uh, you step out with Halfdan, who, like, flexes his muscles, puts both, both like, hands on his hips. Oh flexes his muscles. Oh, he's a pretty disheveled man. But... Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad, Halfdan. What does Ferelda think? <clears throat> okay. Um, Halfdan, like, leans up against the door frame, um, and Ferelda kind of looks... She stares for a little bit, and then breathes and just leaves the door. And then he smacks her like, "Did you see that? Did you see that?" I did. She she looked at me. She looked at me, and it was not with face of disgust or like she was about to throw up or to kill me. And you have taken your first step. <laughs> <laughs> it's all up to you from here. Oh, thank you, one who is with goat, and he grabs you, and you are just engulfed in this man's chest. It is hard to breathe. You are, you are a good friend. I, I will miss you. Like, I'll miss you too, Afton. Oh, I think he squeezes you. Roll constitution oh, save. I'm going to be half panic. I imagine your eyes are, <laughs> your eyes are popping out of your head. Roll, roll, 
18. 18. Okay, you're 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 you 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 you're fearing for your ribs for a bit, and they he squeezes you, and uh, as he does, Bjornson also walks out, and he kind of dusts himself off and goes, "Thank you for everything you have done. Whenever you're back here, you are brother to our clan." Well, you thank take you. Care. You as well, Task. <laughs> Task like, uh, holds his uh holds his arm out. Uh, for a half, uh, for him to put his hand down as well. <clears throat> Have to, uh, sorry, I keep name. Bjornsson yeah. reaches down, grabs uh, your hand. Yep, grabs his hand, and then to, after that's done, Task then grabs him by, like, the inside of, of where his arm is, like the kobold salute. Mm. That's, that's the salute of my people. Thought I'd just pass that on to you. Thank you for your time. He's gonna roll a strength check on you to do something funny. Fuck's sake. He he grabs your forearm and just lifts you off the ground, dangles you a little bit, and puts you back down and laughs. Oh, <laughs> uh, so, money. I, I hope to see you again, the red scale. You as well. Yep. Money, I am going to DM you something. It is not going to be offensive to our party or or our our host or anything like that, but just in case, okay? Okay. Okay. This is it. So y'all keep going. I'm going to type this out really quick. Uh, uh, as you I'll... finish that, uh, Bjornsson looks up to half Dan and goes, half Dan, you're looking very good. <laughs> also, like, mm -hmm. I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. I assume Tarisk was sleeping this whole time. Oh, yeah. Tarisk's been hanging out the entire ta time. Ta ta Tass, like, whistles for Tarisk to follow. Tarisk follows. Mm -hmm. He gets up. <laughs> uh, it appears that he's eaten many Bork. fish. Um, it's funny because for the entire like screaming escapade, he was just sitting there with a blank expression on his face as chaos was <laughs> going on around Borky him. Borky goes up to half Dan. Half Dan. Yes. Borky holds out his hand for a handshake. He takes it and gives you a pretty firm much handshake. like the world's strongest handshake, like Hulk Hogan, the Macho Man shake, the Macho, oh, the yeah. Macho Man oh, yeah. shaking, shaking Hulk Hogan's hand. Ooh, I always grow. I swear to I swear to God, Gaijin, if you want to steal this baby. <laughs> oh no no no! I'm. <laughs> Greggles, Greggles is a little preoccupied at the moment. Before he's uh, like, in in fact in fact I'm gonna do a quick stealth check. To okay. Try and, to try and just disappear while people are distracted. All right. To get outside. But, uh, Borky like and just goes. It was right meeting you. You're a hell of a fighter. Any other time you ever want to you know help her, I'd love to come back. You know, this was great. <clears throat> kind of like, you know, remind me a bit of home. Aww. Yeah, just a little, just a little Sorry. Bit. Oh, I thought, I... Well, anytime you are welcome back, you are like family now. You help deliver child. I mean, yeah, I did do a lot during that. I really did. <laughs> but, <and> Bor <laughs> you, you distract <laughs> Borky chest bumps him. Oh, and then Borky walks off. <laughs> All right. You guys head out with Frelda then? Yeah, so where so I guess that's there's only the four of us inclu there's only the three of us including Tarisk. Where's Greckles? You don't know. Cause he's gotta get on a boat too, and it's gonna be hard for him to fucking hide on a little boat. Uh, Says would you, be, you. Would you be walking, or you said you stealth? Uh, you're just no, walking I, towards I, the beach. No, I would be. I would be walking away from literally everyone, cause this is a super private thing. Okay. All right. You do well, see Greckles walking out. Like, what, as you leave, you do see Greckles heading towards the tree line. But not really paying attention. Like, he's not paying attention. He's just walking down the tree line. Is it the same? Is it the same direction we're going? Yeah. Okay. Then it's, I don't. It's give a towards shit. the shore. <laughs> then let, let him do his thing. Yeah. You guys right. follow him. Sure. Okay. His head's down. He's not saying anything. Uh, roll a sleight of hand for me. Oh, for, for me? Yeah, for that other thing that you were doing. 25, good luck. It disappears. You oh, guys okay. can roll a perception check if you want. Yeah. I have no idea what's happening right now, so. A 10, so not for me. 15, what? not for me. Aww. Uh, Five. Oh, sadness. Man, you made that guy's abs look so good. Damn. <laughs> You have a hidden talent, my friend. You gotta fucking, remember that for next time. Fucking, I am the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of the Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode where they have to oil up all the working out guys, and <laughs> Panic's just like, no, we have to oil them all up for the bods. 
Uh, you guys eventually make your way. I'm gonna say for the sake of brevity, uh, you guys get on the boat. It's it's a very large boat. Do we have the meat? You have the meat. Yeah, good, you have it good, in a bundle. Good. You have you have everything that belongs to you, um, and you have your ceremonial knife. Nice. Uh, and you guys make your way into the boat. Uh, the two orcs acting as the oarmen kick you guys <clears> off <throat> the beach. Uh, it's actually the same beach where you you saw Frelda for the first time. Hmm. Um, you even see her crab pot now bobbing in the water. Um, and you guys cast off, uh, and it laps over the waves. I want you to roll a uh, wisdom saving throw, Taz. What? Because it's your first time being on such a small craft okay. in the water. You've been on big ships, but you've not been on something this small. Wait, wisdom, so wisdom saving throw? Yeah. 15. This isn't so bad. This is nice. Wait, are we at, are we are we at the water's edge? You guys are on the boat now. Oh, screw that! I put my hood up and I I jump in and I just splash around, jumping around, breaching You're like, like a, a dolphin. dolphin. Yes, yeah. I'm dolphining right now. No, no, no. What I what I want to do? I want to use this as an opportunity to stealth, but also to see ahead and down to make sure we're not getting snuck up by a predator or a monster or anything like that. Okay. Uh, the water's really murky. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not clear, crystal like tropical-ish kind of waters you're you're used to it's right. also cold you are cold and cold and cold i actually need your roll a constitution saving throw for me oh saving throw uh do, 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 do. yeah oh that is a five <laughs> you a couple times you get back into the boat because you are shivering it is icy mm -hmm. especially if you go deeper it's even colder mm -hmm. um and the orcs turn as you're kind of taking a break from your swimming your your scouting uh the orcs turn and uh, they go, Cravon, Polo Codo, yeah. Peace. Ah, Cravon, Blas, yeah. <laughs> they laugh and they go, uh, an orc, they go, your bird friend, he acts like a fish. Uh, I, yeah, he does act pretty fishy sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Orky wasn't kidding. He does act fishy a lot of times, really. <laughs> <laughs> when, um, when, when, when Greckles comes out of the water, He's going to look just like shivering, just slow, like the shaking head of back and forth, but slowly turning over to panic as, as, if, as if to convey, like, I'm wet, please help. Uh, I cast prestidigitation on him and I dry Thank him off. You. As he flicks his hand to cast a spell, almost like the water's flicked off as well. It all sprays off your back, back into the ocean. Cool. Uh, can... And he floofs up. Something for, something, something for the audience. He poofs. Uh, like a can, dog can in a hairdryer. Can Borky talk to the orcs and orc real fast? Sure, sure. Hey. Hey, Bogrush. Bogrush. They both turn in unison. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> it's a little creepy. I still don't know which one's Ugrush and which one's Bogrush. It's still confusing me. <laughs> so he's saying it in orcish so no one else can really understand it. They don't notice, because they, uh, they hate orcs, but they spent a last night with you. Probably one of the best experiences I ever had with fellow orcs. Uh, I want to thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Same for us, green friend. Please. When we were a child, we reached adulthood. We were supposed to be sacrificed for being twins to an orc oh, god. god. That's, didn't take too no, kindly to that. I so don't blame left. you. You know, sometimes you just gotta leave. That's all you can do. Mm. Let's do your nice. morning thing, you yes, said. Let's do, do it, it now. now. Yes, indeed. Am I still hungover at this point? Yeah, oh yeah, you are. The rocking of the boat is making it so much worse. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> all right, Tyson, we're gonna do the thing, and you said yes, so you have to do it with us. No. Uh, no, I know. Don't worry, we're gonna get to it real fast, yeah. Don't, don't worry, man. No. Bullgrush and Olgrush stand up on the boat and it's beginning to rock back and forth a bit. No. Oh God, I, ju I jump back in the water. <laughs> you jump back in. You're met with bubbles in the fridge with cold water. You know, where's Taz standing? He's not standing, but he's at attention. <clears throat> Lowering my audio. It's time to get okay. Get okay. I pull the corks out of two of my bottles and shove them in my ears. <laughs> it's time it's to time get bulky. To get bulky. I'm gonna roll a 
I'm going to roll a performance check to pretend like I'm pantomiming with this, so when they scream, it looks like I'm doing it. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> ah! Ah! I just see all the fish scatter. Yeah, they do. And you even see, like, reverberation on the surface of the water, like a... Like a um, like a bass, like stereo, Dude. like oh, blasting out During over the, the ocean. Yell, do, does Panic's eyes get more and more bloodshot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, Panic. Despite your best, the, co the, the corpse <laughs> do not do very well for you. I'll, your I'll head is on. pulsing and Borky, pounding. Bor <laughs> Borky hugs both of the orcs. Okay. I'm, they, they I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have Task like put his finger to the temple of of a uh, of panic and cast healing and cast uh what the fuck is it called I keep losing the ability's name and I hate it uh I'm gonna cast cure wounds okay you see you see Greckles come just <clears throat> iced over in water come out just <laughs> worth it. Ah, oh, crackers, you missed out on the roll. Uh, it's okay. You'll get it tomorrow. Also, Austin, I apologize for the funky audio. Uh, you go and you feel as Tass's hand, uh, step, like, kind of touches you. You do heal him. It doesn't affect the hangover, though. I, with two, with my, with my thumb and forefinger, I, I pinch Tass's finger. I pull it slowly away, and I whisper, Don't touch me. <laughs> Do not say a fucking word. And keep them quiet. Borky! Bor Let's Tacky go with the finger. Singing, Borky Let's go with begins the singing an orcish jo sailing jaunty. <laughs> yeah, so do the other orcs. They join in, too. And they're, they're swinging the ship side to side as well, it coasts okay, so towards Panic, Panic, uh, Panic, Panic just says, Hey! And he's gonna his his eyes are all bloodshot and shit. He's gonna he's gonna actually like thaumaturgy on his eyes to make them turn slowly red as he just death glares these three orcs. Roll intimidation. Whoa. Nineteen. Okay. Oh, that's a natural one for Gold Rush. He jumps in the water. <clears throat> he flees the boat. Uh, they they they're singing a song. I'm homeward bound, and my vessel is reeling. All right, the hage the. They said they stop, and they just slowly keep paddling, like nervously looking towards you, panic. Borky like just care, like lightly just pats him on the shoulder, tap tap. <laughs> uh, eventually, you guys are led back to kind of the beginning of the beach where you guys started your way back, uh, to the Northlanders. Um, and I hear clicking. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I wasn't sure that was something. Um, but uh, eventually they, they dock the uh, this canoe-like ship uh, on the coast, and they help you guys off, and they hand you task your bundle of bear meat. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, whoa. And they cast off and begin to wave as they set back Borky, towards uh, home. Borky just, like, you keep staring at them as they're leaving. They wave with their whole arms swinging, and you see Bullgrush waving with both arms, and then he, st he stumbles and almost falls, and then Bullgrush grabs him and pulls him back up, and they start laughing yeah. again. So, like, he, he almost fell off. And uh, I, okay, sorry. Gre yeah. Greckles, do you want to do some sort of amazing emergence with your manta ray cloak? Oh, um, I didn't know if I could get back in the water, but heck yeah, I do. Let me roll... An acrobatics check, because I want to like I want I want to I want to breach out of the water, front flip, and three point land on the beach. Pizzazz. All right. Eighteen. You you swiggle your body with a with a dolphin kick. You launch out of the air like a flying fish. You do the front flip, and boom, land in the sand. Aced yeah. it. First try. Task holds up a card that says six. <laughs> or he holds up. <laughs> Salty or he holds bitch. up a squiggly lion card. For all you know, that could have been a ten. It wasn't though. <laughs> but, um, 
Well, well, uh, well, since we get back into reality now, character Task has this really genuine big smile on his face, holding the bear meat package. Turns on heel, looking towards Alavest. Well, let's not waste time. I want to get this to Ty quickly. Borky. All right. Borky you actually, guys. Bor Borky actually doesn't leave yet. Borky's still watching the orc sail away. Borky is not moving. Um, hey! <laughs> you hear Task yell at you. Uh, Task, I, I think he's having a moment. Very well. As long as he finds his way back. Uh, I guess he'll find his way. Um, I'm going to try and shoot. Are, is there a true? Oh, wait, we got to walk to the beach back before we get into the woods, isn't it? You guys ran back to the city. You're you're now like next to the city. We can see the city in the distance. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, you're right there. You just have like a maybe like a 15 minute walk to get back. All right, let him oh, have okay. his let him have his moment. Task is going home now. All right, you you take off running with your bundle. Yeah, like let's go, let's go. Uh, Tarisk <sighs> chases after you. Walk it off. It's, just, it's, re it's really it's rolling. It. <laughs> I uh, um, I get an I get an arm under panic and try to help him hop home. Oh. I hate this. This is the worst trip ever. We're almost home. Calm down. I am just, calm. Just remember the romance and the good time we had. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually, uh, Borky, the orcs are out of sight. Borky sighs, then uh, turns around to see no one's gone. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, uh, Task, you're the first one back to the uh, the Sweet Dragon. You make your way through the crowds. Um, and people are, like, getting out of your way. They see you, like, just running with so much gusto. They're like, whoa, okay. Why do I fucking see this now? It's Charlie and the Trolls of Factory right through the street! <laughs> With the golden ticket. He's yeah, got a bunch of, of bear. I got the golden He's bear got meat. Bunch of bear meat. Scare <laughs> me. <laughs> um, you run and you immediately make it to the, the front of the sweet dragon. Uh, you see Vel there and you see Louis Strog there. Um, and like Vel turns and it goes, "Oh, hi, welcome back." Thank you. We're gonna be eating good. Task shows the package and ta and like like pats it and then goes inside. All right, you run on inside and open the door. Uh, and everything's pretty much normal. Uh, Helga, at this point, it's probably maybe like nine, ten o'clock. Uh, Morning? It was, it was, yeah. Uh, actually, no, it wouldn't be, because the how long would the boat ride take you? It was an eight-hour walk, but they're pretty fast. Actually, it'd be more like 10, 11. Oh, okay. Like lunchtime, maybe. Um, and you see Helga currently eating lunch, uh, and you see... Um, Willow as well, sitting down eating lunch. Uh, Meryl is eating lunch and she has someone sitting next to her, um, a, a younger girl with, with white hair. Um, you only see the back of her and they're eating lunch. And then you see Ty Borpeting come out and he gives lunch to Ben and big guy from across the street. And he comes out with two things of food and places it in front of Ben. And he's like, oh, thank you. And places it in front of big guy who is just like, thank you. And Ty just scuttles, uh, scuttles towards his kitchen, and Salt goes, "Oh, Task, hello." Ta Task smiles. Good afternoon to you too, and holds the presents him with the package. Oh, excellent! I got the perfect container to soak that in. I cannot wait to have what you make. Oh, well, this is. He opens the bag. Oh, oh, these are great cuts, Task. Look at this, sir. Oh, it must be a master butcher who you got this from. Look at how clean the meat is. Oh. Well, I mean, uh, but it was me and one of the Northlanders who cut it. Oh, excellent. Well done. Um, no bear fat, though. Unfortunately, no. That was part of the deal. We could only get the meat. That's, that's fine. I can, I can find a substitution. That's good. That's good. He grabs the bundle. Do you give it to him? Yep, give it to him. Okay. Oh, I need onions and honey. And he kicks through the door and he, he disappears into his kitchen. And he's listing off ingredients. And they all oh. sound very good. I am far than certain that anyone who looks at Task who works at this establishment is just like, he is oddly chipper. Like, this is not the same Task that they work with every day. Uh, Meryl actually approaches you with this other girl who she Wait. has with her. Do, do you mean Ty? No, Task okay, is okay. chipper. Okay, sorry, I misheard. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Uh, Meryl actually <laughs> notices this and walks up to you. And there's another girl about her age next to her uh, with just white hair and her eyes are pink. And uh, mm. Meryl walks up and goes, oh, hi, Task. Ah, good afternoon to you. Who's this? Task looks over to the new, uh, the new girl. Oh, uh, this is one of my classmates, Cynthia. Um, I, I, I hate to be rude. Is Greckles around? Ah, he should be following in. I was very eager to bring the package home. They should be coming in just about now. Looks to the door. And you guys all make your way back. Uh, Panic and Greckles, you guys are in next. Borky, you're still making your way home. All right, Panic, go to bed. Just go to bed. Don't knock on my door. I will kill you. (laughs) I believe that threat. Go ahead. (laughs) As you make your way, Willow looks up for much. Goes, oh, Mr. Panic! Oh my goodness, oh, you look oh. awful. Yeah, <laughs> uh, didn't have a very good trip. Uh, oh, wild life I'm... excursions aren't really my forte. Um, oh. how have you been doing? I- I'm working on your potions. It's only been a, a day or so. Um, I'm so sorry. I wish I could help you. Oh, uh, it's it's okay. I just need some sleep. Think of this as training for your competition. That's what I was doing. Oh, oh, you're entering a comp. Oh, oh, right. Yes, yes, you're entering a competition. I, I feel so sorry. I'm so sorry. I-, I wish Doros was here. He could probably help you. No, no, it's it's fine. I just need some sleep. Okay, I- I'll be quiet for you. Thank you. Okay. Good night. And she gently she goes to pat you. She's like, no, let's not touch. And, trips uh, trips on the stairs, going up, and just lays there and falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, Meryl kind of turns and sees Greckles. Oh, oh, excellent. Um, uh, it's nice to see you again, Task. Um, uh, Cynthia, this is Greckles. And she, uh, Greckles, as you walk in, you see Meryl bring this really strange looking girl, um, up to you. And, uh, she bows, like, does an actual, like, 90 degree angle bow to you. Uh, and you, Greckles just put, Greckles says a 45 because 90 is a little intense for this. Um, and, uh, Meryl just kind of, le- like, points her friend towards you, and the other girl goes, uh, um, uh, o- Ohio? Uh, Ohio? Yeah. Uh, no uh, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you spooked me. I, I didn't oh. realize you spoke Dorian. Meryl, you said he didn't speak. It, calm, you, you're not, and Meryl starts laughing, like, ha I tricked you. Oh, you're A-tier terrible. A-tier jape. I'm A-tier sorry. jape. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, my name's Cynthia. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Um, I need to do a report on the Eastern Isles, and um, Meryl told me you're from there. Um, I was wondering if I could ask some questions. Um, I suppose I have time. There's not much going on until the festival. She, like, low-key, like, turns and does, like, an arm pump, goes, yes! <laughs> okay, um, I, I have a few questions, um, for my report. Uh, and she turns to Meryl, and Meryl just kind of gives her a thumbs up. She's like, um, I'll leave you two to it. Uh, I got to clean anyway. <laughs> and Meryl, uh, grabs a broom and, and walks away. Um, uh, could we sit over there? I don't see why not. Okay. Uh, excellent. Uh, mm. And she lays down all her pens and tools. At this point, Porky, you've made your way back uh, so home. So, on Louis Dog, how's the first day? Of, how's the third day of work going? Why do you feel the need to talk to me every time you see me? Holy shit, dude! Wow. Salty. Chill the fuck out. Borky's taken aback by this. I'm just your guard, am I not? I mean. I mean, you are, but in the end, you're hanging out with us. Might as well try to be friends. You can never have too many friends, right? There's a moment where you hear a deep breath. Maybe. So, how was... Ooh, shit! So, how was your second day? Borky stops and just, like, kind of just leans up against the door on the entrance in. So, how was your second day? Quiet. Ain't that bad. A few drow came to ask for directions, and I helped oh. them. That was nice of you. How many drow? I can... S- hmm. Two. Man, hmm. woman, 
We only knew under common. Oh, do you know how to speak that? Yes. Hmm. And then he says in Orkish, I know how to speak many languages. Borky, oh. Borky is completely surprised oh. by that. Borky says an Orkish back. Sorry, I'm actually that, that just took me off guard. <laughs> you completely disarmed me. You completely really disarmed <laughs> me with that. All right. Um... Oh. Well, don't be nervous. Just be chill. Things will work out okay. I'm not nervous. Well. If you feel like getting food, come on inside and get food. If you feel like you don't, don't worry about it. And if you want to bug Vale about anything, <laughs> I'm sure she'd love to chat. Ain't that right, Val? Yeah, it'd be nice to be refreshing, actually. She has but, uh, She's a really uh, tough fighter. Lots of combat experience. Me and her fought in a pit <clears throat> one time. Ain't that right, Val? <laughs> it was a close fight. Oh. Well, kind of. At least I was the one best. And she kind of like shrugs her shoulders did. a bit. That's the thing. Yeah, you gotta have a rematch. Oh, That's yeah, it. we do. No fight pits at the Harvest Festival, though, but uh, maybe at Hoket's Harrowing. Borky looks through the window and does Borky look through the window and see Helga? Yeah, Helga's there and she's cleaning a glass and she like she's she's kind of ordering Meryl like to Borky clean says, certain things. That's good. That's good. There's just no fight, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought I thought you liked fight oh, pits, you know, big sometimes. guy. Sometimes something happens. Don't worry, Borky. We're gonna build one oh, right here. Be so close to it all the time. <laughs> 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 but, um, Borky looks at Louis Stog. Uh, how about you? Maybe you and me should have a fight sometime. And Borky, I would. B Borky, oh, yeah, sorry, Borky what you say? lightly you? just like punches him in the shoulder, just like a light, just like a, boop, like a like a orcish boop. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna see how he responds to that. Oh, oh, oh fuck! Slow turn, eyes glow red. <laughs> I'll see you later. Faces Slowly, the the, he turns and looks up at you and goes. I only fight when I need to. Borky just... And I need to do it too much. He says he needs to do it too much? Yeah. You do. Why do you need to fight too much? Sound buff. <sighs> he just turns and looks forward. Ooh. Okay, then. Borky just shrugs it off and boops him again and walks through. <laughs> Oh my fucking! This is gonna be a tough nut yep. to crack. Yeah. Alrighty. My God, gentlemen, we're slowly turning into a freaking psych ward. Hooray! All right, Borky. <laughs> Borky walks in, and just goes. And Borky just like looks for Tubbs. Is Tubbs there? Uh, Tubbs is not there. How go? How go? I have no Tubbs. And Willow took into room. Oh, uh, yes, I did. I, I put him in a nice safe box. And um, I, I hope that's okay. Um, I, I actually kind of wanted to study him. I should have no, asked. No, no, I really no whatever have. you're doing, if we could make more tubs, the world would be a richer no. place. <laughs> oh, God, no. Morky, that's I'm just terrible. Hundreds. You know, I'm just thinking. No. I'm thinking. No. I'm, no. I'm, I, I just imagine. I imagine a fucking a shoebox with the fucking bird spilling out of it. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help. just a store no. that sells exclusive tubs. No, Borky, what? Borky, yeah. Mr. Borky, please. Um, I'm trying to cure your bird um, of whatever it is that's wrong with it. Um, the poor thing can't I know, do anything. right, but, but it's too, you think it's too small, right? Like me. <laughs> It could be bigger. Today we've learned that Borky has that Borky has not only a bird fetish, but a thick bird fetish. Greckles is worried. I'll 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 go get no, him. Okay? No, you she keep him as long to. as you need to. I'll swing by, give him a kiss in a bit. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, hey, Bo hey, Borky. Uh, just rem just remember. Why don't you go ahead and get prepped up and uh, cleaned up? We got, uh, what is it, one more day until the opera? More or less, yeah. Borky just... Yeah, tomorrow's the opera. Oh, my God. I mean, like, I might... I mean, I... Oh, oh, you're going to yeah, the opera? Yeah, yes. Yes, yes, yes we, he yes, is. Yes, I am. Oh, I was, I'm so jealous. That was one of the dates I canceled with Doros. We were going to... We actually got wing seats, you know, in the big canopy. I love, wing, I lo I love getting tall. wings. It's so delicious. 
Oh, <laughs> Mr. Borky, your 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 special. How much mission. are the uh, tickets, by the by? Oh well, I don't know. Doris bought them, but um, um, to get into the entertainment district, I think it's a thousand gold pieces. But if you buy a ticket, it, it sometimes is cheaper so, depending. Uh, there's a few box offices in the crafting district that you could probably buy. Quick tickets question: from. If so, you had to cancel the date, but he bought the tickets, mm -hmm. right? Uh, he gave oh, them to he a did. friend. Dang, I would have bought. Them. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. If if I bought the tickets, I, I no, would have bought them. You, but, um, we would yeah, have compensated would've... you if that was the case. Oh well, I mean. <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah. yeah. I, uh, no, no spoilers, well, yeah, though, no okay? Spoils, no spoils. This is a no-spoil zone. Yeah. No. I, I don't know if we'll be able to catch the show with him being no. so busy and all, but, um, yeah, no. Um, well, we will, have fun. We will. Thank you so much, Willow. No, no problem. I, I'm going to go work on your potion. Uh, uh, take care. And she goes up the steps. Eek, and when, the she goes, when she goes away, Task waves Borky over. Oh, what's up? I know, I'm confused as you are. Why would you try to cure Tubbs? He's perfect. So we're buying her and Doro's tickets along with well, ourselves, she, yes? She can't go because she's busy. <laughs> Not for now, oh, anyway. I had an idea. What if we got Dame Romansion tickets? Borg <laughs> just nodding. That's on you. I'll allow you to do that. I want no what? part no, of that one. Just a massage task. Ah, well, then that's fair. Beyond the second floor, I would have no, had to bow out. Yeah. I bowed out. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What if we... Oh, you know... So, out of character. So, Doros is too busy, so there's no way Doros can actually go... Doros and Willow could go to that. You don't know if he, they, the opera, they can't go to the opera, but the, if you got tickets to the mansion, it's good for whenever. They don't okay. expire. No, that's fair. Yeah, that we, we should we do should that. Definitely do that. Out of, out of, okay. Okay. Back in character. But uh, yeah, I guess we should go to the office to sell boxes and we should uh, buy some. Uh, <laughs> Morky starts blushing. You know, tickets for the opera or whatever. I don't know. Do yourself well, a favor first. I'm going to do this as well. Clean up before we go. If we appear as though we're a little bit more highbrow. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can actually get a discount. Maybe <laughs> out of character. What? I just, okay. D like maybe. We have, yeah. Yeah. No. No. Present ourselves. Just like, hey, dude, we're rich. Look at us. Look at these outfits. Look how so look how fucking you, clean we are. You so want to give us tickets? Task is that we need really fancy hats? Yeah. To no. Some degree, yes, really Borky. fancy. Hmm, fancy hats. Borky strokes his, strokes his chin and walks away. Okay. Uh, Greckles, you're currently sitting down with this girl, mm -hmm. uh, and she's, she's asking you a bunch of questions. Uh, so, um, um, uh, what, what do you mainly eat every day in the East Isles? Um, a lot of fish. Uh, okay, Some... she, writes down, she writes it down really quickly. Sometimes chicken. It, it, it's hard to grow... It, it's hard to raise much livestock in such a mountainous, condensed area. Oh, it's mountainous. She writes down more. Uh, you could say it's about 80% mountainous. Oh, wow, amazing. She writes down even more. In fact, uh, even though even though most of our diet consists of, well, a lot of rice, what the farmers will do is they'll cut into the sides of the mountain, just huge excavations, and just lay out layer upon layer like a staircase of just rice patty after rice patty after rice patty i see it optimizes the land um uh 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 what is um who is uh, she's looking she's obviously looking at like a worksheet mm -hmm. um who um uh, uh she's like looking through uh who did you uh who did you work for in the eastern Isles? greckles goes very pale Ooh. Um, very, very uncomfortable. May if birds could sweat, he would sweat. Uh, um, I worked for a very wealthy landlord. Twelve. Oh wait, no, it's perception. Hang on. Uh, deception. Six. <laughs> oh no. So you know the parrot. You know the gif of the parrot that runs away from the explosion behind him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just imagine that as Greckles now just like smoke bomb and then runs <laughs> off. 
Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Am I making you uncomfortable? Uh, let, let's, let's just say, uh, I kept different company. Okay. Um, I mean, I meant more, uh, she points to herself. Uh, but I, I see, I see. Um, you know what? Uh, landlord. And she writes it down. Um. <laughs> just a um, big, big sweat wipe. How does getting married work in the Eastern Isles? Hmm. Well, um, it's, it's fairly similar. Um, there is a bride, there is a groom. Mm. Um, they get in a very, a, a small open air, I'd hate to call it box, uh, but a, a very small structure. There's lots of music. Uh, there, Her there face is a, brightens at the mentioning of music. She's like, oh, and she leans on the table. There is a well. ring exchange. The the bride wears pure white and, and a very large. It's actually quite spectacular. Uh, real, real fast, guy, real, real fast. You, you see, you you yeah, cut yeah. out Gaijin's here to jump. Back oh, okay, in. okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, where'd I cut out? Because this is important. Uh, the, white dress. The dress. Yeah, white dress and something. A, a, a magnificent white dress, but also a a very large rounded headpiece. And I know that sounds strange, but it's actually quite. And Greckles freezes, especially considering what had happened prior. Mm. He stops. He completely shuts down, and you see a tear roll down his cheek. Oh shit! I, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. And she like grabs your hand. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I, I are you homesick? I, I'm homesick too, a lot oh, too. It's, I. It's 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 all right. Um. Just, just old memories. I see. Uh, it's all right. Um, the, the groom, though, uh, the groom wears a, a, a large sort of overcoat uh, oh, with, their, with their family symbol, uh, sometimes on the chest, sometimes on the back, um, mm. usually held in a, well, I guess traditionally in a shrine. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a very solemn but very happy occasion. Oh, I see. I have a quest. Like, I'm. I'm sorry. I actually <clears throat> felt a little uh, uneasy about the idea. It's just like I'm writing this down, but we never got a reason why. Did she ever give the reason why she was writing this nope. down? Nope. Nope. Okay. No. Task is gonna move in. Like this is no. I. I want an answer to. That. Like Task moves in. Like holds his hand up. I don't mean to interrupt, but would you mind ask uh, answering why it is you need this information? Oh, um, I need it for school. Can you give me a little bit more detail? What do they want to know? Uh, we're supposed to do a report on a culture that is not Alavastian, and she lifts up her sheets of paper and shows it to you, and you see her notes, and you see her assignment. Um, we're supposed to learn about a culture that is not Alavastian uh, because Alavast has so many different cultures, and then write a report on it uh, for a book. Um, May I? Task holds his hands out to see the document. I, it's my homework. Please be careful with it. Of course. No, of course. Of task, course. task, is this really important? Just... Ta task looks up to Greckles a little bit. I, I in our in our job, you can never be too careful. I just want to see this for verification. It, it's not cursed just because I touched it. It's fine. no, of course not. That's silly. I just would like to see it. Okay. Thank you. I I promise you, there is no ill will in this. I just would like to see it for verification. <clears throat> Meryl said that she knew someone, so that's why I'm here. Of course, uh, I want to roll an insight. Okay. 16. She's just a student. Tass looks over the paper, looks back to her, nods, and gives her the paper back gingerly. Thank you. Thank you. Carry on. Um, okay. Uh, one Cynthia, last question. Cynthia sees a very bristled Greckles. Like, mm -hmm. both them those both them big eyebrows be, be very furrowed down. Um, do you want me to stop? I... This no, 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 it's, it's all right. It, it's actually nice to think of home. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, I... if you would be okay with it, let's go over there. And he, he gestures just further away. Okay. Uh, okay. Tass walks uh... away. Let, let him do his little interview. I, I was not trying to stop you, Gaijin, out of character. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not taking that offensively out of character. You, you do you, buddy. I'm just... Yeah, 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 um... no, that's fine. Cynthia sends it, it was, uh, Meryl? And Meryl turns, I'm going to be over there. 
and she uh, she gets up and gathers her notes. One drops to the ground and she grabs it. Uh, and as she goes to grab it, she's actually having a hard time finding it. And she grabs it and she picks it up and walks over and stumbles into a chair. And then Okay, I'm going to do, whether it's intelligence or insight, I want to know if she's albino. Insight, yeah. God damn it! Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, it's clear to see. Uh, in in your culture, it's called the white blessing. Uh huh. Uh, in oh, other I, cultures, I <laughs> yeah. In other cultures, like I mean, Yukiko was Yukiko had the white blessing, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Um, and other cultures, it's called the white curse. Um, right. depending on what culture you're in, uh, depends on how it's it's seen as yeah, interpreted. Uh, but it I, is I, out of I, character. I, it is Alban uh, Al albinism. I, I actually grab her by the hand and slowly start to lead her. Oh, thank you. It's just really bright today. No, I understand. Um, someone, someone very special to me was was a lot like you. Really? Mm-hmm. I've met a few others, um, but not here. I am. Um, I, I get mistaken as an Azamar too much. Greckle's bristles. At, at, at hearing that ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. I actually I, um, I actually got to meet Burke Bronze Fang because of it. It was really funny. Oh, what was he like? Oh, he was so nice. I, I was just walking home after school and this guard came up and grabbed me and I was so scared. I, I thought something bad was going to happen. And then he took me up to the place with, with the big temples, you know, and she points like towards the center, like of town, like in the building. Mm -hmm. Um. And they had me wait, and I met him, and he got very cross with the guard, um, and was very apologetic to me. And, and then he called my aunt and uncle, and um, they came to pick me up. Um, and the entire time, he was very courteous and, and very pleasant for an orc, surprisingly. I guess he's an Azamar, but, um, well, you know. Oh, I, I know. Where I come from, orcs are violent and not very good. Well, you don't have to worry about that here. The orc that we keep around here is about as aggressive as a teddy bear. Thrown out mm. the window. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, Helga. Meryl tells me all about Helga all the time at school. She's fun. She's very cool. Um, all right, last question. Uh -huh. um, what are the main enemies of the Eastern Isles? Uh, here we have the Fire Giants. Uh, where I am come from, we have um, Eltner. Um, but, uh, what about the Eastern Isles? I'm sorry, out of character. It wasn't, no, it was bugbears, wasn't it? Hobgoblins. Hobgoblins, sorry. Mm -hmm. you, you see, Greco stop, and it's, it's that thousand yard stare that's going past her shoulder, looking past her into just space and just softly, just hobgoblins. Hobgoblins? Is that just like a goblin? No. Much worse. Oh. I, I'm sorry, I keep bringing up bad memories. And she just kind of like sighs and writes down her notes. Um, that should be enough. Um, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Greckles it was? Uh, Greckles it is. She extends a hand. I'll take it. I'm glad Meryl told me about you. You know what? I'm glad she did too. Okay, well, we actually should go. School's gonna start soon. Uh, Meryl! And Meryl is already resting the broom up against it and grabbing her bag. Uh, thank you so much. And, uh, um, oh, where'd that little fish-headed man go? Oh, Ty? He's probably in the kitchen preparing the bear meat. Oh, um... I don't want to disturb him. When you see him, tell him I say thank you for the meal. It was very good. No, he's great at that. Mm. Okay. And she, she once again, 90 degree angle bows to you. 45 back. And she gathers her things. She trips on a chair a little bit and then runs and meets oh. up with Meryl. And uh, Meryl like kind of has like, how was it? How'd it go? And she goes, oh, that was really, really good. I think my report's going to be good. And they both <laughs> open the door and leave. And Meryl goes, bye, Val. Bye, uh, helmet guy. And they both run <laughs> off through the streets.
Viol of evil violin strings as Louis Strong looks at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tash looks over to Greckles. I he uh he looks over to Greckles. I apologize, but you must understand that with Tiango as he is, it's nice to at least have some fact checking. My friend, I think you might be a little bit paranoid of the 13-year-old girl. She was she was about 16. She's about the same Sorry. age as now. Uh, roll that in. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's fine. Tash, Tash just shrugs and uh, sits over to, to, to talk to Helga about what they did, just to bring her up to speed. Uh, hey, Helga. Yes? Do you have any more of that good stuff you had before? I did not serve alcohol before 12. Greckles lets out a really deep sigh. <laughs> Just, I could see the fucking regular show like, oh. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna head back up to my room for a little bit. Just let me know if you guys need anything. For sure, get some rest. You 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 see him walk away. You usually Greckles is either way too tense. Or being home really happy. He's very, very physically and visibly distraught. There's a hunch to his to his gesture. There's slow steps as his talons clack going up the stairs. Just clack, clack, clack. I'm going to roll clack. inside. With advantage. Uh, What do I roll to counter that? Deception. 23. Ooh. 14. 14. You know, Task, up. Task will remember that. <laughs> Task remembers this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna stop you, but I'm just gonna be no, like, no, no, that's oh, fine. That's fine. Ta Task remember. Task will remember that. That's all I'm gonna say. Ellipsis. Yeah. <laughs> so Borky, what, what's Borky Bor doing? We have Greco and Eric are well, sleeping. Borky's grabbing Bor 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 tubs. Bor Borky pretty much uh, wandered <clears throat> off and is pretty much in the tower looking at tubs being experimented on with science. Oh, well, it's not <laughs> science, but close enough. Magic is a science. I'm, I'm trying to find some sort of natural cure that might help his metabolism, if he even has one anymore. Um, it's rather tricky. I, I'm honestly just finding something to do while I wait for my distillery to process some yeah. potions. The show um, is conducted experiment. Borky pulls out a loaf of bread and slowly pushes it. Bor no! Slowly oh, pushes it God. towards tubs. Tubs begins like like a termite just no. like pecking rapidly eats oh. the bread and Willow is oh, just goodness. like shaking her head like no. All right, no. Okay. okay, what was the time on that? I... <laughs> it's a speed run. Forty five seconds. Um, <laughs> oh God! The answer for a whole loaf. Yep. Fucking hell! Hot oh, damn. Um, Willow just like she she puts pinches her temples and she shakes her head and she she sits down on a very large chair that was not in the tower before um just slumps down on the chair and she goes okay i give no, up no it's okay you <laughs> think we can speed it up so we can eat it even faster <coughs> no <laughs> i think i think we want two different things mr borky two tubs uh oh but i do have something oh. for you uh my bucks finished up things uh oh, come okay. with me and she leads you downstairs uh, to the downstairs part of her, her tower. And there's this large marble box. Like it looks like marble or granite and it's very Ooh. smooth. And she opens it up. There's, there's holes at the top of it, like very small holes. She opens up and there's a bunch of insects Ooh. and worms and like disgusting, creepy crawlies in there. And you see your hag head currently uh, sitting there. And around it is a, uh, like around the box itself is like a ring of salt. And uh, she goes, um, it might take a few more days, but eventually you'll have a completely that clean skull. Excellent. I'm going to drink from it. I don't know <laughs> if that's going to be possible, but um, I, it will be ready for you. And whatever use you have for it, it's mm. up to you. I'm still thinking of what to do with it. Mm. It's just, this, well, it's got to be real with you, Willow. <clears throat> I suplexed mm -hmm. this hag. It was a beautiful... It was wow. a beautiful suplex. No, it was very much larger than me. Might be the greatest feat of strength 
I have ever done. <laughs> she kind of laughs and looks to the side like, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so far. But this is special to me. Guys. Bar 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 well, Barky I'm looks, looks at it and pokes it in the head a little bit. Just like a little bit poke. When you're told you're not that strong, it's fun to prove everyone wrong. Even if they get here. That Borky rhymes. closes the head on it. It closes the lid on it. it closes the <laughs> lid. Oh, oh okay. Oh, that's very... Borky just went savant for like five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. Oh, um, um, uh. Well, I, okay. Hmm, what's, um, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. I, I just wanted in, to say in, something, in, but in, I, in, it doesn't in, matter. Insight check. Something. Borky wants to insight check her. Okay. 15. <laughs> Okay. She got natural Damn. twenty. Damn, she don't want to talk. Aww. You don't. You don't know. She doesn't want to talk. Um, what do you think of the chair upstairs? I I, I talked to that mm. dwarven man who, who built the tower, and and um, Doros did visit. Um, just for a couple seconds, he he picked up his he picks up his potions from me now, oh, which is kind of nice. Um, mm -hmm, but he doesn't really have anywhere to sit, so mm. I got a chair. Um. Uh, and she goes over to the chair. What do you think? Is it comfortable? Is there a cushion on it? Uh, no, it's just wood. Well, I feel like, how long does he sit in the chair usually? I don't know. He hasn't oh, sat well. yet. I think it looks nice. Does it look nice? Yeah, it's really nice. Dwarven craft, solid well, build. It looks too. really nice. Dwarven craft, solid build. <laughs> Damn it, Kurt. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 uh. Okay. I think he's going to like it um, a lot. Well, you sit in it looks funny, but when he sits in it, it's, it's <laughs> going to look A little bit, normal. yeah. All right, well, here you go. And she, like, sloshes over tubs into your hand. All right. He just, like, rolls off of her hand. It's like a giant water balloon. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. It's your pet, your responsibility, do what you must. Um, I can't well, help him. So, by help, what do you mean? I want to make him a normal pigeon. But that would. But he's so different because of, like, his chunky. Beautiful bird, lovely plumage. He's, so, he's <laughs> such a beautiful bird with a lovely chunky. Oh, oh my god! Uh, of course. But you really think um, I should make him lose weight? I don't know. I'm I'm not a druid. <clears throat> I'm a wizard, so I don't know. Sometimes I don't know if I know what's best. But um well it's your responsibility, so it's your choice. Well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Borky not Borky okay. nods. She, she opens the door. She opens okay, the door. Okay. Oh, just oh you want me to leave? Okay, bye. <laughs> Borky leaves. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> okay. She closes outside the door. In the, in the aisle, outside on the street with tubs. Looks down. No, you went back upstairs. You're back in the building oh, okay. if you left. Porky's holding tubs in his eye. It looks right into Tubbs' beautiful eyes. But They're black looking and each beady. way. But what do you want to be? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can someone. Can someone please draw Tubbs as Heart from Fist of the North Star, please? Uh, <laughs> um, who's downstairs in the main area right that now? That would be me. I want to just shoot the shit with my employees. And, right. Yeah. Shoot the shit. Uh, Ty is, every time you peek in on Ty, you just see him like, yes, yes, yes. This will be great. This is going to be awesome. Yes, more honey. And you just you see him working like in a, a giant, oh. like similar sort of uh, like some sort of tight wooden barrel like chest in a way. And he's just pouring things in there. Um, oh, excellent. Uh, do you look uh at any other rooms at all uh, Bork i check the no, 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 go, I, on, oh. go on i just do my scene uh tass looks to helga helga has there been any noise in this shed out back no noise but there has been many snake i'll be right back tass goes out to look at the shed okay you uh 
open up the shed door and you see Hostred currently arms crossed behind his neck and his feet are up and he is in that chair and he is living it up. Uh, oh, shit, hi. <laughs> yes, hello. You seem to be taking a liking to that. You guys gave me a nice chair. Have they been giving you food? Eh, yeah, they have. And he watches a snake like glides up his his wrist, holding an apple, and he just takes it and swallows it whole. You know, you could go inside and talk to people. Yeah, but then that one human will scream and yell at me, and yeah, things never change. I can talk to her about that. Meh. Well, glad to see you're alive. Glad to see you, too. Uh, after that little escapade of yours leaving a note for us, I was kind of worried that someone else was kind of hot on your trail. Oh, well, Hasrat has ways of getting people off his trail. Not in a stealthy way, like your feathered friend, but more in a, well information sort of way speaking of which mm. how did you uh come across the idea that tiango was not very fond of us oh this and he pulls out his black contract task pulls out his yours is blank his is blank too but he puts his away and goes your names were on the tickets Damn it. I figured as much. But now they're gone, which means luckily for you, that was just a warning. Good. So what does that mean for you? Does that mean you're bunkered here now, now that you can't go back? Well, the real, well, one of the bosses isn't back yet. I'm curious as to why they're taking a bit longer this time and rumor is someone killed someone they shouldn't have was she on a little venture to find others as well another what others of herself not here to make others maybe but it doesn't usually take this long Hmm. Which reminds me, and he crosses his legs the other way. <laughs> Rumors from my snakes tell me your fine feathered friend has procured something rather fascinating. Those you snakes got good. Those snakes got good insight. <laughs> those <laughs> yeah. are the smart snakes. I tried. I tried to hide. I tried to hide the way that thing looks. You were transforming in the middle of the road. <laughs> Jeez, Greckles. <laughs> so, but ta <laughs> ta ta Tash, shrug Tash shrugs. His loot, his gain. We found it on the road. It's his to keep. If you want to talk to him about it, that's his business. Uh, trade, maybe. But then again, I might not want to be caught having it. No, that's fair enough. Would you rather risk someone uh, someone red down below catch that information and then it's on your hands? Oh, no. If red finds out, that bird's a dead bird. But if you bring it to every man, you might earn yourself a, well, a favor if you're someone like me. Hmm. Think we can gain some protection from Red if he gets a little ornery? There's only so much Averyman can do in regards to him. Why does Averyman keep him around if he's that dangerous? And Hasrad turns his head. Hasrad has his theories. But until I know for sure, Hasrad only speaks the truth. Task gives him ten coins. Speaking hypotheticals for once. I'd like to hear your theories. My theories. And he leans forward and he goes, Why do you think changelings like Avery Man 
are so close to extinction. Close to the enemy? Or the enemy keeps moving. Jesus. That's out of character. There is no Jesus. There is no Jesus in Yalavaz. There might be a Jesus. Mm. <laughs> it's true. It is a first name. Quite the theory you have. He shrugs. Hmm. Well, but for your friend there, he could hold on to it if he thinks it's worth it. Or he could hand it over. Which would be what Hasrad would do, but the bird isn't Hasrad. No, and be careful when you say that around him. Currently in this mood, that might be kind of coined off as a tiny bit of a threat. I'm not the one threatening anyone. And he recrosses his legs. Of course, it task, task like smirks. Of course you're not. <clears throat> By the way, the humans are gone, so you can come inside if you want. Ugh. I feel it might give you a little bit of change of pace if you decide to come in. The offer's open. Task uh, walks away. He just like he just kind of his face goes wide like Nyeh. like. <laughs> Task closes the door. Have a good night. Yeah. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the snakes bite. Ugh. <laughs> goes back inside. Uh, sits at the bar. Yeah, he's there. <coughs> This one is paying rent, yes? Uh, it's complicated. He's a little bit of our info broker, so he has a little bit of a... The fact that he's sleeping in the shed is kind of like his special little treat for from us. You're really spoiling him. She says it sarcastically. <laughs> Tess smiles. Yeah, we are. I'm trying to crack that little exterior shell of his to see if we can coerce him to get outside in the real world once in a while. Yeah, some people do not like coaxing. To them, it is like push. Yeah, it was like that for me when I first got here. Mm. And she cleans the glass. Yep, and just shoot the shit. Oh, by the way, a scarble's there. What do you need? She's right behind you. Bor Borky ah! walks in the room. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Borky comes and sits down <laughs> beside Task with tubs. Oh, what do you need? I just wanted to talk. I wanted to know goblin etiquette a little bit more. Uh, goblin etiquette? They Okay, here, here. here. She sits or lack, uh, Task smiles, or lack thereof. Yeah, yeah, let me explain this to you. There is none. Zip zero, nothing. All you have to do is respect the people who are bigger than you, who could kill you, and if not, defeat Borky them in numbers. Borky holds his hand up. I have a question. Yeah? Uh, how come like, you're nice, but whenever we meet goblins outside of Alavast, they go, ah, rah, rah, and they start attacking us. Why is it I meet orcs here and they're nice, and I go to other places and they're like, ah, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Borky <no>. just. <laughs> Borky holds his chin. That's a damn fine question, Scarbos. <laughs> 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 Why is it? That is like that. <laughs> Different upbringings, I can only assume. Yeah. So I would say, so I would say this, uh, oh God, I'm going to get her name wrong and I should. Phantom Liv Sturva. Yeah, Sturva. So since this Sturva's a bugbear, mm -hmm. showing respect, I assume since bugbears are huge, showing respect if you're smaller. Uh, she runs a black market business, so I'm assuming at least keeping it stance would at least garter one back but with someone like borky's stature do you believe that he'd be able to speak with her on equal terms um, depends on the bugbear i served bugbears once and it was it was okay uh, i don't know i mean you could try worst things come to worst you have to fight a bugbear mm. um she kind of like scratches like her ear her giant ear yeah, fixes for the, the longest, earring. For the longest time, I thought bug bears were just mm -hmm. giant bugs. They had like a bear like body and a giant bug face. True story. I thought that. You know, somehow, based on what Helga says, that doesn't surprise me too much. Borky casts a glance at Helga. 
looks over, leans over to Scarbles. She be talking shit. <laughs> Scarbles like looks up to Helga. Helga looks down to Scarbles. She looks up to you. You look down to Scarbles. Um. Ah. Uh, hey, look, I got somewhere to be. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh, oh, and she just runs away. Ta- Task looks up to. Uh... Well, thank you for the info. Looks up to, uh... Looks up to Helga. So let's be honest. When we do get a fight pit in here... Yes. You'll be in exhibitions, won't you, just for fun? Eh, Helga leans on the countertop. You know, after the recent fight pit battle against weak orc men... Uncalled for. (laughs) and, And very strong tiefling men. Helga... Is retired. Sometimes I'll go have dream of going back to youth. But, ah, it's not Helga's way. She starts to clean the glass again. We if can't turn have... back... Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, go ahead. I said, we can't turn back time, but we can still indulge you in that idea if we get something like that. Yeah, Helga will consider, but nothing <clears throat> more. It's for fun. It's nothing more. We're not say- We're not asking you to get in the ring and fight for us for cash. Hmm. No, that is not too boring. Tass smiles. I think I know what I want to build next. This Bye. could be fun, indeed. But um, there is only one problem with this. Uh, you will need cleric. That's true. We need a fight. Fo- I really want hi- you. Really want to hire that, uh, that 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 vulture guy, right? The uh, the death. He he does he does skulk around here a lot. More yeah, he's than... right. He's literally oh, sitting geez. there. He's right yeah, there. yeah. Tad, no, Tad, Tad says that out loud as a as as a joke. Like he does skulk around a lot. He raises two fingers like sup. <laughs> Borky turns. Why don't you want to work for us? I have more important. Oh, things dang to it! Do. Borky turns back. See, he's busy. <laughs> well, we are near a clerical district. We can look for. Any aspiring new clerics that want a job like that? Oh, we could do the job interview again. I love doing that test. That was so much fun. That does sound like fun. I wouldn't mind actually getting me... Maybe a cleric that has something to do with that hunting god. You would. By the way, I saw something rather strange. What's that? Uh, while I was, while I was out doing this little <clears throat> man quest that they wanted me to go on... I saw a vision. Their their god or something brought to me a vision of my home, like in my co- my councilman's home. The task is actually going to drop this info on Borky. He like stops for a second, and then looks at him, and just goes, "Ah, whatever." Borky, I come from a tribe known as the Dwellers. We were under dark dwelling kobolds that lived oh, in the yeah, mountainside. Yeah. When I when I looked when I looked into this uh, when I looked into the councilman's chambers. The dwellers were replaced with a silver mm. door. And then when I walked through the door, all of the color was gone. And all I saw was, mon- it was like silver. And before me was a dragon, but I was shot out of the vision before I could figure oh. out anything. Well, you know, a bunch of dragons. Like, dragons and you kind of go, and, you know, hand in hand. It was like, was the dragon itself silver? That's a, That's the thing I couldn't tell. I looked at myself... I, my my skin was was without color, and then when I looked up, the dragon was without color. I can only assume that we keep hearing about this Silver King. Remember, Remy showed a lot of ill will yeah, towards indeed. it. Never, I've never seen him so pissed. Silver King. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. This is interesting. Uh, Meryl and Willow. We're both from country where Silver King now rules. Helga has noticed many women are from this place. Specifically g- women? Any idea why the military, like someone from the military would such hate towards it? Mm. Towards the dragon? Yes. Yeah. Perhaps is what giant respectable bird said. <clears throat> it's just he was late. Oh. But mm. perhaps what was going on was much worse based on what Metal said to Helga. Any kind of war, no matter how big or small, people, not even intended targets, get hurt. So, 
That is not just it, Orkman. Mel tells me that if she were in country before Silver King, and she is trying to read, she would be put to death. So, out of character, so you said, like, pretty much so, if if she... If Meryl tried to learn how to read in Eltmer before the Silver King, she would be put to death. Oh. What was the previous ruling before the Silver King showed up? Yeah, I hear that based off of respectable birdmen, there was king and queen, like mm -hmm. monarchy. See, in Holger's clan, the smartest, strongest woman rules. This whole monarchy thing makes no sense to Helga. But apparently they are no longer around because of the Silver King. Surprisingly, many do not wish to go back. Perhaps it's like Meryl has found a new calling, family, place to be. Hmm. Same with Willow. As calling, place hmm. to be. And I believe that Meryl's friend there, the, the one who has the white, uh, the white blessing there, she, she also is from Eltmer, I believe, remember saying. They reminisce about apple trees in the autumn. Hmm. Speaking to Meryl about this might not be such a bad idea. Hmm. But Next she time. is young. Be nice to her. No, of course. I would just ask her, can I have a generalization of her previous life? Hmm. This may be good. You could also talk to Willow. It might Indeed. Be. Don't mind if I cut it here. I was just thinking for a sec. Orky, why is that thing in a oh, shoebox? You talking about tubs? Yes. Uh, or, oh, no, it's to keep him safe so he doesn't, like, melt places he shouldn't. <laughs> Go to the fucking air ducts! Oh. <laughs> oh, no, it's coming up the gears. <laughs> Any, anyway, I'm but, sorry. If people hate the Silver King, but before that, before he took over, women couldn't read. That's... Bad, right? Like, it's terrible to people e not being able to e read. Every culture has a stigma. Uh, ain't that true? We, that's why the Kobolds of Iron Oath actually went away with their stigmas. We were running low on population and we all decided to come together, even though we were warring factors. That, uh, I heard they were warring factors at that point. But joining a union and coming together out of outside of these differences made it all a li at least a worthwhile when I was alive. Uh, when I oh god, when I was <laughs> when I was on the mountain. You talk of when they were alive, Jesus. No. No, that's okay. <laughs> As you guys are talking, panic. You're sleeping in your room, right? That is correct. You hear a. Thuk, 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 thuk. What? I I get up and I look around, try to see where this noise is coming from. You hear a rock hit your window. I open up my I open up my my window and I look you out. You see a young male oh. wizard standing on the ground. Val is like pointing oh. out your window. The panic! Hello. I squint. I squint my eyes and I lean out. Ozzy. Yes. Oh, I told you he'd remember oh. me. Hello. <laughs> oh boy. Is anyone with him? <laughs> Vel. He's standing next to Vel. Oh. <laughs> you could have. You could have just come in. I wanted to surprise you. You did. Hooray! <laughs> okay, I, 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 I get dressed and I, I make my way down. I, I'm assuming I'm my. I, I slept off most of my hangover. Yeah, you're right? fine now. You slept off most of it, and that's actually where we're gonna end the session tonight. It's okay. Because it's ten o'clock. All right, stopping, stopping audio. Audio. That that yep. that, See, that yeah, is how you end an episode, Nadine. That's great. It's me. Oh, it's oh, me, Patty. That... It. That's a that's an anime cliffhanger ending right there. Yeah. I'll just yeah. I'll just go ahead and uh, take out this forty five minutes of me being absolutely <laughs> silent. Oh, sorry. Uh, I apologize. I was just like, we haven't we haven't spoken to anyone that like. No, I'm not taking it out. I'm just. Yeah.
that's, looking that's, at it right now. That's, just that's like, the that's joke. the joke. Yeah, we we haven't spoken to a lot of like a lot of the NPCs at the tavern for like at least like for a good chunk of time. So I'm just like, I'd like to speak to them or like at least pick their brains about shit. Oh my god, this this was a fun this was a fun episode. This was kind of a low down session. I wanted yeah. to do just no, to this... chill one because I know you guys were sick. So hey, I can fight when I'm sick. Well, you know, it's being considerate. <laughs> so you know, fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> breath, breath weapon, sneeze attack. Roll, roll a DC fifteen Ca or cast be a, consumed cast affliction by, virus. by licking doorknobs. What episode is this? Oh my, thirty. Episode thirty, 30 guys. Damn. We episode thirty. What a milestone. All right. Uh -huh. Hey. God damn it, Connor. You doing okay? Morty. Morty. You got no idea, Morty. Morty. Let's get into it. I'm a tiefling, Morty. Tiefling. Part tiefling devil, Morty. Rick. Okay, here we go, guys. There we go. <laughs> they attempted to steal a baby. How is that a Loki episode? That meme, guys? <laughs> Childbirth is loaded. Sorry. Okay, never mind. Fine. Never I should be guys. So, guys, a quick update about the podcast. We will have uh, an ep We will have last week's episode going up tomorrow, and potentially this week's episode going up tomorrow as well, if our audio guy can get it done. We apologize for the delay, but unfortunately, he was away uh, from the <laughs> his ability to make. It. He was yeah, at Magfest. He was, a, he was, he was <laughs> at so, so we do apologize for the delay on that, but you will be getting it tomorrow for the podcast version, which I am really happy to hear is doing really well. So that's good. Uh, chat, I want to thank you so much for all the kind donations. Uh, Dance with Weebs, 1,000 bits. Today was my first live show. Binge the entire series in three weeks. Monty, you inspired me to write my own campaign. Dang. That's awesome. And thank you so much, Parasite Demon, for the 274 bits. Uh, this was, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you as well. Wow. Well, Cryptic Science, thank you for the 500 bits. Borky, there are two albino orcs among you. Kill them like the rest. Ha ha! S Night Shade, 500 bits. Hey, Zito and Monty, what would a conversation between Gammy and Ty be like? Gr gr I don't Grammy. know who Gammy is, so. Gr Grammy, Grammy, Grammy is. That uh, was the one who makes seagulls stew or whatever it is. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You look like a really delicious dish, Sonny. Would you like to try the secret ingredient? Oh, God. R oh. Let me tell you a little spoiler, kid. Let me hunch my hand around your big fish head. There we go. No, Just get, no, it. Get, it. get in me. here. Get in here. Get uh, in here. I got it's something. It's like my shh, real shh, grandma. Shh, okay. shh, 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 shh. Do you hear that? The pounding of my chest? Yes. It sounds like hell. It sounds like the secret ingredient I put in like a few hours ago. Do you want to try a dish? Heart? Yes. Do you want to try a dish? It's very good. It's, it's hearty for you. It's hearty for you. Oh no, heart! Oh no, Hardy! Oh, I oh, thank you Just so much. Just shoves it down his fucking gullet. Ah. <laughs> it tastes great. <laughs> uh, rabbit hyena rider, ten thousand bits. This is my first bit drop on Twitch. You guys are one of the best D and D streams I've seen. Thank you. Also, happy birthday to the new character. Ah! Oh, okay, but rabbit hyena rider, ten thousand bits. Thank you so much for christening your first bit drop on us. And thank you, thank you so much thank for you. the incredible compliment. And uh, Nadine, I really love this episode. Mm -hmm. Doing glowing low key was a good idea today, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was just like, I prepped for the first half, and then I'm like, I just kind of want to leave it open for whatever you guys wanted to do. Yeah. So that's good. I just want to see what would happen in a way as well. I I, I find it so ironic that the rogue is becoming quickly becoming. Uh, public enemy number one in the underbelly and is becoming very much loved by in the police, police department. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's very opposite. It's good, so old, good old narc well, no, I mean, <clears throat> Oh my God. <laughs> no, like if there was, if there was a big stretch of time, he would be looking for Welsh to try and get employed by like, I don't know, special forces, something like that. And, and there, there actually is some character development reason for that. Well, they're around and they are busy, so Thank you could ask. Five oh one. Uh guys, are we are we good to shut down for the night? I guess I so. so. I Thanks believe so. so. Much for uh, real quick yep. shout out. Uh, you can yeah. find uh Monty Glue, our fantastic DM. You can find her personal Twitch over at uh, twitch twitch TV <sighs> slash Monty Glue, and you're doing art streams now, right, Nadine? Yeah, I'm actually gonna probably be doing oh, one awesome. tomorrow. 
I I did an improv one on Tuesday just to kind of get used to it. So all right, yeah. you definitely check her out on Twitter there. Uh, Snake, senile Snake. You can find me. You can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash senile snake with a three instead of an E at the end. And you can find me on Twitter at senile snake. And I stream Payday 2 and a bunch of party games. Awesome. And look, look forward to Friday because that will be my birthday. And I'll be doing oh, a big stream. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Sing the birthday song, oh. everyone. You know the one. Happy, happy birthday from all of us. Happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Awesome, dude. And Goomba, where can they find you? You can find me here on Twitch as Gaijin Goomba, no H. Uh, every Saturday, possibly Sunday, we're doing an Okami long play, and then every Tuesday, we're just playing a random weird game from time to time. Uh, you can also find me on YouTube uh, with my own channel and over on the Game Theorist channel. That reminds me, Gaijin. I need to talk to you after this stream. Uh, I need, need oh. to pick your brain about something. Okay, I was about to say, and... am I in trouble? No, you're not. In trouble. Work find... <laughs> I'm just curious. I seem to be I seem to be the most in trouble right now in this campaign, so <laughs> yay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Ozzy just showed up. Uh, I think I'm the most uh, in trouble uh, right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if Ozzy can break you like a twig. I mean, facing Ozzy emotionally or facing <laughs> Tiango physically, what is more terrifying right now? I mean, in the grand scheme of things. <clears throat> For real. Uh, you could find me at twitch.tv slash Zito on th On Fridays, I do variety streams, and my Sundays have been switched up. I will be, uh, uh, whenever I'm not doing my next new project for my Sundays, I'll just be doing variety streams as well. But what I would like to do is, uh, I'm going to be creating a small little one-off uh, game, uh, D&D games, based on the world that I'm using for TFS at the table, called Tales of Raiden. So, that will be happening. We got our first two groups, so I'm writing up two campaigns. They'll try to make them a monthly thing. And uh, you can also find me on Twitter at uh, uh, CZ Backlash. And, we, uh, quick, and also a quick shout-out to Kaiser Neko, who was in the chat for a bunch of tonight. Hi. Hi, Kaiser. Oh, Hi, Kaiser. Yeah. Hey, oh, I didn't even yeah. see him. Hey, What's yeah. up, Isaac? <coughs> he said, I think he said happy birthday to you. Oh, thank also, you. Ever, and, Thanks, Kaiser. Uh, and you can find me here. <laughs> and, uh, on my, and on my That's Twitter, uh, Takahata101. Oh, there he is. There's there there Scott. And, Yay. Hi, hey. Scott. And I will be continuing on my streams. I'm switching up my streaming schedule going forward here the next uh, month or two. Just some adjustments going on. But I will probably be playing some Final Fantasy XIV either tonight or tomorrow or Friday as well. So, anyways, guys, from all of us here at The Unexpectables, thank you so much. Take care. Bye, guys. Later, guys.